Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Beast Control, Hatching the Ancient Dragon at the Beginning. Chapter 21. Chaotic Blood Feast Gluttonously Eat All Inedible Things, Return to the Origin. The feast has begun, devour it to your heart's content. Compared with the previous two functions, this newly activated function is obviously more powerful and more evil. According to the explanation of this function, Li Chengen can choose to obtain skills and attributes by killing an extraordinary creature or plunder the source of life on the opposite side and turn it into the most primitive life energy to replenish yourself. There is only one soul message on the third page, and that is the only boss among the seven predecessors who has activated the hunting note to the seventh page. It says, don't get caught up in the pleasure of devouring life energy. It seems that the other party died because of this. Li Chengen originally thought that he could use this function similar to a vampire knife in the future, but this message gave him a reminder. It's best not to do this until you become the true owner of your hunting notes. Owner. In an instant, a flash of inspiration flashed through Li Chengen's mind, and he thought of a possibility. Is this function a function of page 7? I was afraid that the five middle pages were destroyed by myself, so I just activated the remaining three pages. But the hunting note still reminds me that there are ten pages. Doesn't that mean that you can create your own five-page ability? Thinking of this, Li Chengen suddenly felt motivated. But I also reminded myself that the ability of hunting notes is weird, and every time I use it, I will be affected by negative emotions. This thing is just like women's clothing, there is only a difference between zero and countless times. Once he tries it for the first time, Li Chengen is not sure whether he can control himself. Before you are truly sure, it is best not to take risks. Just leave it all to Mao Mao. What a little genius I am. Mao Mao. I'm not a human, but you are such a dog. Li Chengen exited the meditation state and said to Wen Miaohua with an apologetic face, sorry for making you worry. Wen Miaohua was still worried and said, are you sure you're fine? It's better to see a doctor. Li Chengen refused. He hugged Yao Yao back and explained, just now, one of my abilities caused a riot. Every time I use it, there will always be great negative emotions. Xiao Bai's eyelids twitched wildly behind Wen Miaohua. Hey hey, the way you looked just now, you almost stabbed me in the face with a knife. You must know that I have been staying in the beast controlling space before, and the murderous intention that can penetrate the beast controlling space is not something that can be explained to a great extent. The look of worry on Wen Miaohua's face became even heavier and he said, if not, let Uncle Li find a doctor in Yujing, they will be able to solve the problem no matter how troublesome it is. No need, I've found a way. Wen Miaohua and Xiaobai looked puzzled, and Li Chengen smiled warmly and said, when facing malice, use greater malice to crush it. As soon as he said this, the boy's face twitched, but thinking about his own guess, there was really nothing wrong with this boy's words. After all, the greatest malice in the world is to instinctively not think that you are malicious and call it goodwill. It just so happens that there is such a group of unconscious, powerful monsters in this world. If the last malice in this kid hadn't been too pure, it would have thought that this kid had fallen into the embrace of the evil god. When Miaohua was a little confused about Li Chengen's method, and it did sound somewhat reasonable. But something feels wrong. Xiao Bai rolled his eyes and almost laughed out of anger. My cabbage has been taken away from the root. Instead of expecting this little girl to notice anything abnormal, it's better to hope that Li Chengen can keep his peace in the future. After Xiao Bai concluded that this kid is fine, he returned to the beast controlling space to sleep. Li Chengen looked at the time and found that more than two hours had passed, so he took Wen Miaohua back to the room where the students gathered. Fortunately, it was working time and there was no one near the lounge. Otherwise, the aura spreading from Li Chengen's body would be enough to put the institute into a level 2 alert state. Return to the lobby where the institute is used for conferences. Because it is a large space, it is most suitable for settling students during this period. Teacher Lin, Teacher Fu, what are you doing? As soon as Li Chengen and Wen Miaohua walked in, they saw two teachers commanding the beasts and suppressing a white-armored rhinoceros with red eyes. The younger teacher Lin saw the return of the only two geniuses in the second year of high school and explained kindly, Ding Jia's beast master entered the awakening period after the contract and then accidentally awakened his bloodline. Another teacher Fu answered, Ding Jia couldn't control it, 
so we suppressed the white-armored rhinoceros and waited until it awakened its bloodline and regained its sanity. Entering the awakening period and awakening the bloodline. This kind of fun, doesn't happen often. Li Chang'in has the impression that Ding Jia, a girl, is a boxer at home, so she is more boyish. He is quite popular among high school sophomore girls and is known as, Brother Ding, in the world. If it weren't for her slightly sobbing voice at this moment, just by virtue of her steel plate, others would have thought that some young master was being bullied. When Miao Hua also poked her head out from behind Li Chang'in, took a step with her straight and round white silk legs, and her chest rose and fell. It looked like when Miao Hua's head was resting on Li Chang'in's shoulders, making him look very intimate. Ding Jia noticed the arrival of Li Chang'in and the two men, and the charming expression on his face became much stiffer. Apparently he noticed the difference between himself and Wen Miaohua. The white-armored rhinoceros, whose bloodline had improved again, tried to struggle again, and the two pet beasts responsible for suppressing it also had a headache. This mighty little beast could neither be heard nor allowed to escape. What a hassle! Li Chang'in brought two stools and shared the spiced melon seeds he specially brought with Wen Miaohua. It's a pity that Wen Miaohua doesn't eat it. She prefers light food on weekdays, and stir-fried shrimps are good. Li Chang'in is proud to enjoy this must-have delicacy. The sound of cracking melon seeds sounded in the silent lobby. The fragrance of the five spice melon seeds made both teachers Lin and Fu a little overwhelmed, so they joined in the melon-crushing process. Seeing this, the white-armored rhinoceros became even more angry. The cub had little wisdom and a sense of expansion that increased its strength. Help it understand that you don't respect me. Come on, if you dare. The white-armored rhinoceros stared angrily, and his eyes accidentally met Li Chang'in's. The little rhino instantly fell into the endless bloody black tide. What does that feel like? The purest malice and the most chaotic killing intent are like two distinct spheres, mixed together without any sense of beauty. And this sense of chaos is so harmoniously integrated into one person. And it is responding with malice to this man. The awakening blood in the white-armored rhinoceros suddenly stopped, and then retracted at a faster speed. Ni maid, you wouldn't bring yourself to die like this. The so-called awakening of the bloodline is essentially to obtain a strong spiritual memory of the ancestors, and the descendants will keep the ancestors of that time in their own bodies. The ancestral will of the white-armored rhino dissipated at the fastest speed in his life after touching the two remaining auras of Li Chang'an. It is afraid that the two willpower behind Li Chang'an will find them along the network cable and kill them offline. The red eyes of the white-armored rhinoceros suddenly became extremely clear. Without the power brought by the awakening of the bloodline, the little rhinoceros did not even have the courage to look at Li Chang'an. Huddled under the protection of the forelimbs, shivering. Teacher Lin put the melon seeds in his hand into his pocket, with a trace of pity in his eyes, and said, it seems that the bloodline awakening has failed. Ding Jia, who was still sad at the side, was confused. Did he fail? Is my hot mother's white-armored rhinoceros with dragon blood gone? The girl's sixth sense told her that the failure of white-armored rhinoceros was inseparable from Li Chang'an. When he noticed that the bi rhinoceros was escaping in the same direction as where Li Chang'an was sitting, Ding Jia became even more convinced that Li Chang'an was the culprit. Suddenly, an unknown anger rushed into the tomboy's heart, breaking through her remaining sanity. Ding Jia wiped away the tears on his face and shouted angrily at Li Chang'an, Li Chang'an, are you the one who caused this? You don't want to see me get a powerful pet beast, and you are afraid that my little boy will affect your status, so you are going to kill me to prevent my little boy from awakening his bloodline. Ding Jia's voice was so loud that all the students in the hall focused their attention. Li Chang'an, ha, huh, was this little girl's brain sprayed with water from the Blue Lagoon's water gun? The best people should be Ding Jia, Ji Mo, Lu Haisheng and Bai Shui. The two boys, Ji Mo and Lu Haisheng, didn't have that in mind and were addicted to playing cards. The girls Ding Jia and Bai Shui each formed a small group. They are the female boxing group and the white flower club. Without Wen Miaohua, the small group of these two people should develop very well. But there happened to be a better Wen Miaohua. In terms of strength, he crushed a group of high school girls represented by Ding Jia, and in terms of appearance and temperament, he surpassed the clean and beautiful Bai Shui Shibaji. The problem came, when Miao Hua didn't form any small group, which made the two of them very embarrassed. 
strong people don't do evil things, which makes Ding Jia and Bai Shui look like a green onion stuck in a pig's nose, pretending to be garlic. There are many girls with big ideas, but there are very few girls who are capable and have big ideas. Ding Jia and Bai Shui are obviously not included in this. Therefore, Li Chang'an, who is close to Wen Miaohua, is considered to be the only member of Wen Miaohua's small team. Li Chang'an is a troublemaker, while Ding Jia and Bai Shui comfort themselves and make up for their mistakes. That's why there was a scene where Ding Jia's emotions broke out. Li Chang'an noticed that many people were watching the excitement, and what he was thinking about was a popular joke from his previous life. I'm having fun. Those who eat melons will eventually be eaten. Li Chang'an took out a pair of headphones from his bag and put them on Yao Yao. What he said next was not good for children. Then he shook the melon seed peels off his body and said calmly, where is the evidence? Ding Jia bit her lips tightly. At this moment, she had lost her mind, and the daily gossip was constantly torturing her heart. Then the white-armored rhinoceros failed, and this emotion exploded. It's you, it's you. We don't need evidence. My little darling doesn't even dare to look at you, does this even need to be said? Li Chengen spread his hands, stared at the little girl who looked like a shrew in front of him, and said, that means there is no evidence. Ding Jia became anxious and said, my little boy was frightened to death. Doesn't this count as evidence? Hearing this, many students who were watching the excitement couldn't help but chuckle. It was the first time for them who had not entered society to hear this reason. Refresh the outlook on life. Li Chang'an seemed very patient, and all those negative emotions had just been exhausted. At this moment, he was like a sincere teacher, saying, can you ask your little boy if he dares to look at Wen Miaohua? This sentence automatically turned into, you don't even see who is covering me, in Ding Jia's mind. Ding Jia was so angry that she started to speak fluently, what are you so proud of? You are just a pretty girl raised by Wen Miaohua, a licking dog next to her. Li Chengen had no reaction to this, and Wen Miaohua beside him became angry. The cold breath directly broke through the teacher's blockade and pressed heavily on Ding Jia's body. The temperature in the lobby suddenly dropped a few degrees. The cubs held in the hands of the students whimpered and trembled in their master's arms. Several teachers quickly used spells to block Wen Miaohua's aura, thus preventing a tragedy in which the cubs were feces and urine. Li Chengen held Wen Miaohua's hand, and the warmth of his palm made Wen Miaohua dissipate the cold power unconsciously. The white jade-like earlobes are coated with a layer of pink crystal. A moment of death chill allowed Ding Jia to regain some sense, and she actually scolded Li Chengen in front of Wen Miaohua. It's over. Wen Miaohua's success in Hongyun number. One middle school has never been based on her good looks, but her absolute strength in ruthlessly crushing students of the same class. Li Chengen asked again. Since you said it was me, what vicious method did I use? Ding Jia shook his head. If he knew, he would have reported it earlier. Li Chengen turned to the teachers around him and asked, Teacher Lin and Teacher Fu, did I use any magic power when the white-armored rhinoceros awakened its bloodline? Teacher Lin said, No. Where's the mental power? I didn't notice any fluctuations in mental power. What about the pet beast's energy fluctuations? Teacher Lin shook his head. Li Chengen's kind eyes fell on Ding Jia, this shows that I did not carry out the evil plan you mentioned. Ding Jia was trembling all over. Suddenly she remembered a rumor, so she immediately said, you still have the initial pet beast, maybe you have some weird abilities. The smile on Li Chengen's face became warmer and warmer. The blood-red contract formation under his feet flashed quickly, and a lazy kitten appeared on his shoulder. The red kitten yawned, seemingly dissatisfied with Li Chengen calling it out at this point. In an instant, the cubs who had just recovered from the fright fell into deeper fear again. The moment Mao Mao appeared, even the pet beasts of Teacher Lin and Teacher Fu trembled inadvertently. Not to mention Ding Jia and Bai Rhinoceros who are even closer. A. Dragon, Species. Ding Jia reacted and showed the level of knowledge expected of a top student in Hongyun number. One middle school. This kitten does not have the characteristics of a pure blood dragon. It has dragon scales, but its aura can affect humans. That can only be the Yulong species. That's right, before Mao Mao came out, Li Chengen specifically asked Mao Mao to adjust his breath to the sub-dragon level. With a flash of light, Mao Mao was taken back by Li Chengen. 
Lin and Fu, two high-level beast masters who led the team, took a deep look at Li Chengen. He was such a good boy, he hid deep enough. Everyone in the lobby breathed a sigh of relief, but there were still many people whose original pets peed their pants, and in more serious cases, there was a cup of freshly baked hot rice. Ding Jia's head was empty. She already understood what Li Chengen meant when he mentioned Wen Miaohua. Your pet doesn't even dare to look at Wen Miaohua, how dare it look at me? The remaining dignity of the young man made her say harshly, your contract formation is blood red. Maybe it came into contact with something that it shouldn't have come into contact with. Hearing this, Li Chengen said speechlessly, I doubt how you got your fifth grade result. The description in the third paragraph on page 27 of, Basic Knowledge Summary of Beast Controllers, does not need me to say more. Li Chengen gave full play to the character of the academic master, and a string of precise text positioning completely shattered Ding Jia's sophistry. Many of the students who returned the exam to the teacher checked their mobile phones, and some even thought deliberately, the color of the beast master's contract formation is related to the strength, quantity and attributes of the pet beast, which is divided into. Every word was knowledge that Ding Jia had learned, but these words were used as words for others to laugh at her. Teacher Lin and Teacher Fu who led the team had expressionless faces. If they had known this, why did they do it in the first place? A level 1 beastmaster brazenly attacks your pet. Are you looking down on the strength of our high-level beastmasters? Regarding this farce, Teacher Lin, who was responsible for recording, had already made a mental decision for Ding Jia. However, specific records must be negotiated with the Institute's record-keeping staff and the principal. But the noisy Ding Jia couldn't escape the comment, poor mental endurance and unstable mental state, left on the file. Even if Ding Jia is admitted to a key university, those popular majors will have nothing to do with her. On a more serious note, Ding Jia's life was completely ruined and she had no chance of going to university. After ending this farce, the leading teachers gathered the students and prepared to leave. On the way out of the institute in line, many students were whispering, which Teacher Lin and Teacher Fu couldn't hear. A student said, Ding Jia will be in trouble now. She has been making trouble unreasonably for so long. She will probably be criticized when she goes back. But her family is rich, so she doesn't have to worry about her future. Another student shook his head and said, You still have a future after being scolded, but where are you now? Ding Jia is useless. How to say? You know our qualification assessment this time is composed of two parties, the school and the research institute. I know. Then do you know the name of the deputy director of the Institute of Ecology? How do I know this? Professor Li Mingxuan, Li Chengen is his only son. Ah, it's so awesome, why haven't I heard of it before? The student sneered. You know that Wen Miaohua's family is very rich, but do you know what her family does? Have no idea. That's right. The student pointed at the lost Ding Jia and said, this is the difference between the nouveau riche and the big family. The real rich second generation keeps a low profile. Oh, that's it. Teacher Lin. He seemed to have heard some incredible gossip. Teacher Lin and Teacher Fu looked at each other. If it was true, then the student Ding Jia was indeed useless. There is no place for her Ding family in the huge Hongyun city. In front of the deputy director of Hongyun City Ecological Research Institute, he framed and abused his only son. So brave. It seems that I need to confirm it when I go back and write a report. A dark-skinned student in the student group chuckled, hiding his merit and fame. In the office of the deputy director of the Institute of Ecology, Li Mingxuan looked at the surveillance video provided by his subordinates with a solemn expression. The protagonist of the video is none other than his son Li Chengen. But what he cared about was not the girl named Ding Jia, but Li Chengen's temperament at the moment he summoned Mao Mao. This feeling of disregard for everything made the young and promising deputy director fall into memories. He remembered this temperament when, during a college internship, he participated in a teacher's project. A being with a similar temperament appeared in front of them. Just passing by, he took away half of the lives in their team. It has nothing to do with good or evil, just eating and digesting food is a burden that most living beings cannot bear. Li Mingxuan remembered Li Chengen's introduction to Mao Mao. Mao Mao is just a dragon-born red-maned lion who inherited the bloodline of the Hellfire Dragon. Are you sure this isn't Ji Yu Long's disguise? Li Mingxuan picked up Mao Mao's portrait and compared it with the picture of Prison Flame Dragon. 
Well, plus the dragon horns, dragon wings and dragon tail, isn't this very similar to the hell flame dragon? Sister Lin, who made tea for Li Mingxuan, gave him a look like a snake head. These things are not the characteristics of the elemental life, but the flesh and blood of the hell flame dragon. They can be disguised by a cub and a new beast master. Li Mingxuan sighed. He didn't know that these were his delusions and had no scientific basis. The Hell Flame Dragon is a creature of flesh and blood. This is the conclusion drawn by the Dongguang Kingdom after killing the Hell Flame Dragon several times and dissecting the Fire King. Li Mingxuan put this speculation behind him and continued his research. But he also failed to notice that although the bosses of the Dongguang Kingdom had gone to great lengths to kill several Hellfire Dragons, the Dongguang Kingdom had never obtained the body of the Hellfire Dragon Cub. There is no specific information about the infancy of the Hell Flame Dragon, and naturally we don't know what is special about the Hell Flame Dragon in its infancy. As for Ding Jia, Li Chang'an doesn't care, and Li Mingxuan doesn't care even less. After symbolically saying, lenient treatment, to the subordinate responsible for the matter, he went about his own project. In the principal's office of Hongyun No. 1 Middle School, the old principal with gray hair saw the report sent by the research institute on his computer. With an expression that showed that it was true, he said to teacher Lin and teacher Fu, the report from the research institute has been sent. The evaluation is relatively objective, and the other party is very gentle. This sentence means that the matter ends here. The two leading teachers looked at each other, and the old principal asked, What evaluation are you going to write for Ding Jia? Teacher Lin took out his conclusion from the bottom of the report in his hand. The psychological quality needs to be improved, there is a lot of room for improvement, and the personality is impulsive. The old principal chuckled and said, You're doing Tai Chi very well. I'll add another sentence to order you to correct it. So Ding Jia's comment changed to, the psychological quality needs to be improved, there is a lot of room for improvement, and the personality is impulsive. I am ordered to correct it. The two teachers walked out of the principal's office. Teacher Lin said, this girl Ding Jia is done. Teacher Fu nodded, the last sentence of his comment was a bit harsh. The word, order, rarely appears in the files of high school students. When the college admissions department sees these two words, they will definitely be curious about the reason behind it. Then I looked at the video provided by the institute and thought, haha, which university dares to recruit this girl? As for Ding Jia's parents, they should be busy deciding which street their family will sleep on tomorrow. The company founded by Wen Miaohua's parents was the leading enterprise in Z province. If the Ding family, a small and run-down temple, dares to criticize the eldest daughter of the Wen family, being banned from the industry would be the lightest consequence. Li Chengen doesn't know how the Ding family thrives, but his own situation is very painful. The day after receiving the royal beast, Wen Miaohua's mother, Feng Sisi, brought Wen Miaohua to his home as a guest. The most terrible thing was that Miu Qingqing, who had announced that she wanted to retreat, was at home, and the two best friends started talking about Li Chengen and Wen Miaohua. This scene reminded Li Chengen of the memory of being forced to get married in various ways in his previous life. PTSD committed. So Li Chengen took Wen Miaohua and left the Li family as if fleeing. Feng Sisi and Miu Qingqing watched them leave with anti smiles on their faces. Wen Miaohua asked, Where to go? Li Chengen also looked confused, Yes, where to go? I came out in such a hurry that I forgot my brain and Yao Yao at home. Mao Mao in the beast controlling space reminded, Miao Cheng An, note. What note? A bolt of lightning seemed to strike Li Chengen from the void, yes. A business card from Dad. Li Chengen then remembered that Li Mingxuan had given him a business card of the Hunter Union director not long ago. How could I forget that thing? Li Chengen took out his mobile phone and took a photo of the business card. Wa, are you interested in the Hunter's Guild? Wen Miaohua was a little curious. For some reasons, she had no chance of joining the Hunter Guild. Yeah. I'm curious, but I haven't seen it. Li Chengen then made a decision and said, Okay, then let's go to the Hunter Guild to have a look. Noob, it was the first time he went on a date with a girl and went to the Hunter Guild. When the two of them took the subway and arrived near the Hunter's Guild, they were dumbfounded when they followed the map navigation to the door. Is this the Hunter's Guild? In front of Li Chengen is a small shop of only 20 square meters. 
The old wooden door creaks in the wind. When Miaohua also had a look of astonishment on his face. The legendary hunter's guild actually looked like this. Their artistic taste was quite unique. At this moment, a two-meter tall man with a sturdy back appeared behind them and patted Li Chengen heartily on the shoulder. Even with Li Chengen's enhanced physique, he almost fell forward. Ha ha ha, are you surprised that the hunter guild looks like this? When Miaohua turned around and glanced at the strong man. Well, he had a very standard hunter body shape, with a big waist and arms that could run a horse. Li Chengen groaned and noticed the man behind him. The strong man laughed loudly and said, My little brother is in good physical condition. It's just that his center of gravity is too bad. Li Chengen was surprised that this man could actually see his physical fitness at a glance, considering that he had never shown his strength before. After hearing the second half of the sentence, he smiled helplessly. Although he is a level 1 beast master, he is also an ordinary person without professional training. In the eyes of professionals, he is indeed no different from a chicken waiting to be slaughtered. Excuse me, old man, how do you register the Hunter's Guild? The strong man stared at Li Chengen, then touched his chin with his finger, and said, the assessment of the trade union is much more difficult than that of the Beast Control Association. Li Chengen responded, I'm not afraid of difficulties. The strong man waved his hand and said, it's not a matter of difficulty or hard work, it's a matter of talent, do you understand? The talent of skill is much rarer than the talent of beast control. Li Chengen said firmly, I want to try. The strong man raised his chin forward, pushed open the rickety wooden door, and motioned for Li Chengen and the others to follow. When Li Chengen entered the store, he found a young man wearing a green leather uniform sitting at the front desk and dozing off. There is a black wooden door deep in the house that can accommodate two people. The strong man slapped his hand on the wooden table, making a loud noise. The young man was so frightened that he jumped up from his stool. When he saw the strong man's face, he cursed. Why is Duan Bai, who has been stabbed a thousand times, using so much force? Sooner or later, this table that has been passed down for hundreds of years will be smashed to pieces by you fools. Li Chengen heard the young man's name for the strong man and thought to himself, so his name is Duan Bai. Duan Bai didn't seem to hear the young man's scolding, and smiled boldly, if the photo is broken, just ask the president to replace it. The young man's face turned red with anger, change, change, change. Just change. If changing can solve the problem, what will happen to the door behind you that was just replaced last month? Li Chengen specifically looked back at the creaking wooden door behind him. It turned out to be a new door that was only used for a month. Duan Bai didn't take it seriously and said, President, why don't you use an alloy door? That thing can't be photographed. Seeing Duan Ben's depleted appearance, the young man fell limply on the table as if his whole body had been ripped out. Weakly said, If you have the ability, go to the president and ask her to change it. As soon as he heard that he was looking for the president, Duan Bai changed the subject very seriously and said, It's done, it's done, let's register the newcomers. The young man glanced at Li Chengen and the two at the door and said, Name. ID number. Li Chengen, ID number is asterisk 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 asterisk. The young man entered his name and number into the computer, glanced at the file that popped up, and said without surprise, oh, another young man looking for excitement. Afterwards, the young man printed out a file and handed it to Li Chang'an. Ten dollar fee. Li Chang'an looked at Duan Bai, who nodded. Li Chang'an immediately understood that this was the registration fee. Before and after handing over, the young man asked Shang Wen Miaohua again, name. Wen Miaohua coldly refused. I will not join the Hunter's Guild. The young man added, Little girl, the status of the Beast Mastering Association does not conflict with the Hunter's Guild. When Miaohua answered very seriously, conflict. The young man stood up solemnly, took a picture of Wen Miaohua, and then searched the files. Seeing the permission requirement on the computer, the young man's eyelids jumped, sure enough. The young man took a temporary pass, handed it to Wen Miaohua, and said, you can't go to the second floor of the union and the storage room. You can go to other places. Wen Miaohua took the temporary pass and walked into the black wooden door inside the store with Li Chang'an. 
Li Chengen noticed that the corner of his clothes moved and saw that it was Wen Miaohua who looked cautious. I can't tell you now, you will know later. Li Chengen grabbed Wen Miaohua's little hand with his backhand and said, it's okay. Since his parents haven't stopped communicating with the Wen family, it means everything is fine. Duan Bai saw the two little ones holding hands and touched his empty belly. I'm full. After passing through the black wooden door, the space inside is completely opposite to the shabby outside. The area inside is at least a thousand square meters. When you walk in through the wooden door, there is an open tavern of several hundred square meters directly opposite. On the left side of the wooden door is the reception hall, and on the right side is a pair of 10 meter high doors, only one of which is open. Through the door, Li Chengen seemed to see a wider space. Duan Bai patted Li Chengen on the shoulder and laughed and said, How to raise it? Our hunter tavern is pretty good. Li Chengen fell into silence as he looked at the drunken men on the benches in the tavern opposite. Duan Bai coughed sheepishly and said, It's not like there are guys drunk until dawn here every day. Seeing that their impressions of the hunter guild were somewhat broken, Duan Bai quickly changed the subject. By the way, I'll take you to register as a hunter student. With that said, he pulled Li Chengen and walked towards the reception hall. Li Chengen asked, Hunter student. Duan Bai explained, Hunters do not become successful overnight. They need to practice skills and become familiar with various ecological knowledge from the beginning of hunter students. Then you can pass the final exam to become a trainee hunter, and then complete a bronze one-star hunting mission to become an official hunter. A look of surprise appeared in Li Chengen's eyes. No wonder his father said that it is not easy to become a hunter. It turns out that it requires so many processes. What does that bronze one-star hunting mission mean? While there was still time, Duan Bai patiently explained, the bronze color represents the level of the hunter, and one star represents the difficulty of the hunter's mission. Bronze stars 1 to 9 correspond to level 1 to 9 beastmasters, silver stars correspond to elite hunters above king level beastmasters, and above that are master hunters with gold stars. Understood. Li Chengen temporarily understood the hierarchy of hunters. Before Li Chengen officially registered, Duan Bai kindly reminded, the hunter's job is not as easy as you think. Do you know why the welfare of hunters far exceeds that of the Beast Control Association? Li Chengen shook his head, not knowing. For example, if you want to successfully register as an official beast master in the Beast Mastering Association, you need to defeat an extraordinary one-star pet beast. Then what the hunter has to face is not one, not a few, but a group. Every hunter must have the strength to defeat the same level of monsters. Li Chengen's eyes lit up when he heard this, and he asked, does this mean that the mission of the Hunter's Guild is basically to hunt a group of magical beasts? Ah, Duan Bai was a little confused about Li Chengen's reaction. Normally, shouldn't he show an expression of uneasiness or fear after being told that he needed to face an entire group of Warcraft? Why does this kid look so excited that he wants to roll up his sleeves and do it? It's not all about annihilating a group of monsters. There are also tasks to hunt down Lord Monsters. Since you are a student of Hongyun Number 1 Middle School, you also know the difference between Lord Monsters and Ordinary Monsters. Li Chengen nodded. The difference between Lord Warcraft and Ordinary Warcraft is like the difference between Shadow Tiger and Ground Tooth Rat. The former requires a hunting group composed of veteran Beast Masters to attack, while the latter only needs a new Beast Master who has just debuted to solve it. Duan Bai added. Let me remind you, if a bronze hunter wants to advance to seven stars or above, he must have a record of hunting Lord Warcraft multiple times. Duan Bai chuckled and patted Li Chengen on the back, come on, newcomer. The receptionist at the reception desk had already entered Li Chengen's basic information while he was chatting. The receptionist with dyed blue hair asked in a very formulaic manner, may I ask your level as a beast master? Li Chengen answered truthfully, level one. How big is the initial beast control space? Do you still need this information? In order to prevent Li Chengen from misunderstanding, the receptionist explained, every hunter needs this information, and of course it only needs to be entered once. The hunter's union is different from the beast control association. The requirements for union management are stricter, just like regular workers and contract workers. Hunters also have better welfare benefits. Speaking of this, Li Chengen understood the difference between inside the system and outside the system. 
500 cubic meters. The receptionist's fingers on the keyboard trembled slightly, and Duan Bai, who had just returned from ordering a glass of wine, almost spit out the contents of his mouth. Xiao Bai, who was in Wen Miaohua's body, snorted and said, You're too young. This kid falsely reported the beast control space. Can 500 cubic meters of his curse power be contained? The receptionist took out a cylindrical testing instrument and said, As usual, please cooperate and pour the magic power into this instrument. Li Chang'an was a little curious. He had never seen this kind of instrument in the research institute. Is it a black technology of the Hunter Guild? What's this? Without waiting for the receptionist to answer, Duan Bai said, the instrument that detects the size of the beast controlling space measures the size of the beast controlling space based on the output of the spell power over a period of time. It is similar to the lung capacity test during physical examination. Doesn't this instrument have several color areas? White means within 100 cubic meters, and then blue means within 200 cubic meters. Things less than 300 are green, those less than 400 are purple, those less than 500 are orange, and those above 500 are gold. After saying this, Li Chengen understood. He took the test port of the detection instrument, a large amount of mantra came out of his hand, and the colors on the cylindrical detector were changing rapidly. White, blue, green flashed by. It was a little slower when we reached the purple area, but we still crossed it easily. Finally, the orange light gradually darkened, and a ray of golden light appeared firmly in the horrified eyes of the receptionist and Duan Ben. Li Chengen quickly put down the test port and looked breathless. Duan Bai smacked his mouth, hey, it's really 500 cubic meters. His old man finally saw the world today. The receptionist's formulaic face showed a hint of emotion. Okay, your beast control space has been tested. Please show your initial pet beast. In addition, every time you contract a pet beast in the future, you need to come to the guild to update the information. Otherwise the hunting ground detection device might not let you in. Li Chengen summoned Mao Mao and let it slightly release a breath of sub-dragon. Duan Bai is already numb, what kind of configuration is this? The initial pet beast is still a sub-dragon. Xiao Bai snorted coldly in Wen Miaohua's beast control space, pretending. Only this group of ignorant humans still believe that this monster is a sub-dragon species. Wen Miaohua reminded in her heart, Xiao Bai. Xiao Bai responded dissatisfiedly. Okay, I understand, just don't say anything anymore. Wen Miaohua, you are not allowed to tell others either. Xiao Bai, oh, okay, registration here has been completed. This is your student ID, please keep it. You can go to the training ground through the door at the back to practice. There is a school near the training ground. Classes start at 9 a.m. and end at 12 o'clock every day. The rest of the time is free time. After the receptionist finished talking about a bunch of things that needed attention, Duan Bai took Li Chengen to the training ground to get familiar with the environment. Passing through the huge wooden door is a lively street market. On both sides of the Qingshipu Avenue are shops where families come and go, the most distinctive of which is the steaming forging workshop. Duan Bai proudly introduced Li Chengen and the two of them. This is the Hunter's Trail, a place opened up using space expansion technology. You can apply for forging talismans here, and you can also buy rare resources from the outside world. By the way, the quality of the resources here is higher than that of the Beast Mastering Association. Hearing this news, Li Chengen was no exception. Hunters are elite units, and they face the same ethnic group or elite monsters, so the resources they encounter are naturally not much different. Coupled with the information revealed between the lines of Duan Bai's words, it is not difficult to see that the hunter is more of a lone ranger. Compared to the hunting groups of the Beast Mastering Association, the hunters have much more wealth per capita, and they are more casual in disposing of unnecessary resources. This leads to the fact that the items sold on the hunter trail are better and rarer, and there are all kinds of weird things. After passing through the hunter's trail, there is a huge square. There were many weapon racks on the edge of the square. There were iron weapons on the weapon racks, but none of them were fired. This is the training ground, and the big bungalow is the school. The students attend classes there. Then Duan Bai rubbed his hands excitedly and said to Li Chang'an, let me see which weapon you are more suitable for. Duan Bai's voice was not loud, but the hunters around him were obviously not simple people either. They focused their attention on Li Chang'an. 
The entry-level process of selecting weapons for newcomers was naturally a lot of fun. Li Chengen felt a little uneasy in his heart, he should be fine. In this spacious training ground, many strong men wearing talisman and armor have gathered. More or less, they looked at the scene here from a distance with an expression of interest. Li Chengen had several black threads hanging from his head and said, Are you hunters so idle? Duan Bai laughed and explained, Don't worry, there's nothing malicious. It's just that this hunters union branch hasn't had a newcomer for a long time. Li Chengen was surprised, This is the hunters guild, how come there are no new members? There was a trace of loneliness on Duan Ben's bold smile, and he said, I can't help it, life has been a lot more peaceful these years. Many parents are unwilling to let their children face danger. You know, hunters have to face many more dangers than the Beastmaster hunting group. Wherever the hunting group goes, the hunters will go, where the hunting group dares not go, the hunters will also go. At some point, someone always needs to pass the information to the city. Li Chengen understood that he was prepared for danger when he was in peace. Now he was only in peace, and he was much less prepared for danger. This is also the reason why these people from the Hunter Guild are so weak. I understand, so how do you choose the type of weapon that suits you? Duan Bai returned to his carefree state and pushed out a beast puppet more than four meters high from the hut next to the training ground. This is the way to select. People can only unleash their potential in dangerous situations. The same goes for hunters. It depends on how long you can hold on to this puppet with a weapon. Li Chengen's face was stiff and he asked, Can I use a pet animal? Duan Bai showed an evil smile, What do you think? Fortunately, Li Chengen was not asked to go up to the test without any foundation. Duan Bai handed Li Chengen a bracelet. There are a dozen switchable light spots on the bracelet. This is a temporary memory projection bracelet. Each switchable key represents a weapon. After switching, the basics of using the weapon will temporarily appear in your mind. Then just go up and test it. See how you feel and how long you last. I will be watching. Of course, a reminder, don't think about using this bracelet to sneak away in skills. Although it is a standard basic skill, everyone's body and habits are different, and you need to adjust it to the skill that best suits you during training. Li Chengen said he understood and took a look at the types of weapons on the bracelet. Heavy melee weapons include great swords, war hammers, heavy axes, and spears. Melee light weapons include tachi, one-handed sword, double-edged sword, and long stick. Long-range weapons include heavy crossbows, light crossbows, and hunting bows. Li Chengen started with the big sword in order, easily picked up an iron big sword the size of a door panel and two fingers thick, and swung it, almost missing his waist. Duan Bai snatched the big sword from his hand in time and said regretfully, it seems you don't have the talent for heavy weapons. Li Chengen was puzzled. Duan Bai pointed at his and Li Chengen's bodies and explained, do you see the gap between you and me? Li Chengen raised his head slightly and looked up at Duan Bai's head. As smart as he was, he immediately understood the reason. The strength is enough, but the size difference is too big. He is 1.7 meters tall and Duan Bai is 2.1 meters tall. Although he is not a thin bamboo pole, compared with the hunters, he can be called slender. Compared with Duan Bai, his center of gravity when using the sword is unstable, and he can easily be carried away by the sword and hurt himself. Duan Bai pointed to another weapons rack next to the heavy weapons rack and said, try close quarters light weapons. Li Chengen took the Tai Dao. Even though it was a light weapon, the size of the Tai Dao was very different from that in his previous life. This sword is taller than him when it is standing upright. Other light weapons are not much better. The one-handed sword is about the same size as the two-handed sword in the previous life. According to Duan Bai's description, there are the most double-edged styles, but most of them look like swords. When he heard the name Double Blade, Li Chengen thought it was two daggers, but he didn't expect it to be two one-handed swords the size of his previous life. It is indeed a weapon for hunters. One word stands out, big. Li Chengen held the Tai sword and activated the temporary memory projection function of the bracelet, and a basic usage of the Tai sword appeared in his mind. Duan Bai activated the beast puppet, and the wooden puppet moved slowly and jitterily. Suddenly, a stream of water shot out from the wooden puppet's mouth. 
Li Chengen quickly turned his head, and the water ray broke several of his hairs. Li Chengen's eyes widened. Do you call this a newcomer test? Before he had time to think too much, the wooden puppet's next attack came. Tail flick attack. There is a prelude, the speed is not fast, but the momentum is powerful. If he was hit, he would have to lie in bed for several days even with the help of a healing beast. Li Chengen quickly blocked the sword in front of him and took the blow forcefully. There was a clang, and there was a violent trembling sound from the blade. Li Chengen's hand went numb and he almost lost his grip on the sword. Unable to continue like this, Li Chengen avoided a hit from a puppet and began to use the basic techniques of Tai Sword. Vertical chop, upward chop, cassock chop, left and right thrust. Every time Li Chengen used a slash to dodge the wooden puppet's attack, he would always gain some insights in his heart. The knife in your hand will also be more stable and the knife can be drawn faster. Duan Bai, who was watching, felt his scalp numb. What the hell kind of monster is this? From Li Chengen's initial performance, it is not difficult to see that he has not been exposed to professional training before. The steps are frivolous, not solid, and the moves are chaotic. But I can't help but make rapid progress. How long has passed, the sword is already in shape, and the steps are well organized, as if you have already started. How many times had you been beaten when you were choosing a weapon? Duan Bai looked up to the sky and sighed, the gap between people in this world is too big. Not only Duan Bai felt this way, but the hunters surrounding him also had this idea. As Li Chengen's understanding deepens, there is something vigorous and ready to be accumulated, as if it urgently needs to break out of the ground. Li Chengen didn't know what to do, and the memory projection didn't record any relevant matters. This feeling he was holding back in his heart became more and more uncomfortable. Some sharp-eyed hunters saw Li Chengen stayed at this time and took the initiative to remind him, keep your mind strong, infuse the blade, and then release it. Li Chengen was reminded, but he didn't know how to do it specifically. He could only send the thing into the sword in his hand again and again according to his feeling. The more you fail, the more insights you accumulate in your heart. Finally, while making a vertical slash with one step, a white light popped out from the blade of the sword. Following the slash, a shallow mark was left on the beast's wooden puppet's steel-like body. Then two pursuits fell from the void onto the beast puppet. Breaking blade strike. A double blow from the shadow of prison. There was silence on the training ground. Duan Bai opened his mouth wide and looked in disbelief at Li Chengen, who was sitting there looking very happy. At this time, a hunter asked in a low voice, is there any instruction on breaking the blade in the memory projector? How is it possible? It's an advanced teaching. The instructor won't teach it until you understand the basics of Tai Sword. The hunter who reminded Li Chengen was also surprised. He hadn't seen such a talented newcomer in a long time. With just a reminder, you can figure out how to use the advanced technique breaking blade strike. Duan Bai quickly stopped the beast puppet and gave Li Chengen a thumbs up. You are this, I am ashamed of myself as an old man. It seems that there is no need to test, you are more suitable for Tai Sword. Li Chengen still rejected the offer, having determined why his parents recommended him to be a hunter. The talent of ingenuity is really useful. As long as Li Chengen can get started with something, he will continue to gain insights through training. When insights accumulate to a certain level, there will be an eruption period, achieving an effect similar to epiphany. The appearance of that blow just now was the result of an explosion of inspiration. And because of this epiphany, his mental power has increased a lot. The surrounding life energy is constantly gathering on him, and the speed of mantra power accumulation is far faster than ordinary meditation practice. According to this progress, with two more epiphanies, he will be able to break through to level 2 beast master. Therefore, other light weapons that can be used cannot be let go. Looking at Li Chengen's embarrassment and shining eyes, Duan Bai couldn't refuse, so he could only let Li Chengen save his money and test it out. I have tried one-handed swords, double-edged swords and long sticks, and the results are good. Then Li Chengen sat down cross-legged in front of Duan Bai. The surrounding life energy gathered in large quantities from the void, blowing up waves of breeze. He looked like he was about to break through the realm. Now not only Duan Ben was numb, but all the onlookers were also numb. They have seen people who have broken through the realm in battle, but they are all high-level beast masters. 
I have never seen a level 1 beast master start to break through after touching a few weapons and teaching. As the life energy merges with the spiritual power in the beast controlling space. Life, void and soul are intersecting, and a large amount of mantra power continues to pour out, filling the wide beast controlling space. Dadong. The sound of water drops sounded in Li Chengen's heart, and a dark crack appeared again on the star pearl in the soul contract. The beast control space expanded rapidly, 1100 cubic meters, 1200 cubic meters, 1500 cubic meters, until it expanded to 2000 cubic meters in size, and then the space evolution stopped. Level 2 Beastmaster achieved. What a breakthrough. Everyone was amazed again. When Miaohua had a rare smile of surprise on his face, and his ethereal eyes were filled with confusion. Xiaobai in her beast controlling space said, it is his talent that can cause the effect of enlightenment, which allows this kid to quickly accumulate spell power in a short period of time, thus breaking through the realm. Tisk, even though this kid looks like a black-hearted maggot, I have to say that his talent is indeed top-notch. It's fitting that he should take the path of a hunter. Only then did Wen Miaohua understand why the two months of breakthrough time mentioned before had inexplicably turned into two hours. It turns out to be talent. No, Wen Miaohua realized what kind of talent could achieve the effect of enlightenment. The girl understood that this had touched Li Chengen's bottom line, so she buried the idea in her heart. Xiaobai, what are you worried about? It's not like no one can see it. This kid dares to break through in public, which means he doesn't care about the exposure of his talent. He won't let go of the things he really cares about. This kid is so good. When Miaohua suddenly had a subtle feeling. Why did Xiaobai know Li Chengen better than her childhood sweetheart? She was obviously the one who came first. When Li Chengen broke through, good news came from Mao Mao. Then Mao Mao received feedback from the vortex of life energy brought about by Li Chengen's breakthrough, and officially advanced to the extraordinary level, becoming legally qualified to fight in the Dongguang Kingdom. Mao Mao. Oh, I made a breakthrough in Chang'an. Extraordinary one star, and one more skill. Li Chengen was overjoyed. Logically speaking, Mao Mao, who had just broken through the awakening stage, would most likely not gain skills again. I didn't expect there would be an unexpected harvest this time. Then Mao Mao broke through, and a large amount of life energy was also fed back to Li Chengen, used to increase his spell power and the physical strength he was most concerned about. With one person and one pet promoting each other, he has taken a solid step towards the realm of level 2 Beastmaster and Extraordinary 1 Star. Judging from Li Chengen's current cultivation speed, this collaborative breakthrough saved half a year of cultivation time. He only needs to work hard for another year and a half before he can be upgraded again and become a level 3 beast master. Of course, this is just normal practice. Now that Li Chengen has the path to skill enlightenment, the time to break through to the third level of beast master will be much faster than imagined. The initial pet beast in the body also took the opportunity to break through. The two counterattacks work together to break through. This kid's luck is really good. He saved a lot of effort. The hunters who were watching were astonished. It's not like they haven't seen such a thing before when the main pet cooperates to break through, but combined with Li Chengen's previous feats, it's a bit scary when combined. The movement here still attracted people from further away. For example, near the training center, the semi-employed student mentors were attracted. Seeing the beast puppet next to Li Chengen, the middle-aged man who looked like a scholar couldn't help shouting, new student. As soon as Li Chengen finished breaking through, the scholar grabbed Li Chengen and brought him into the school. Wen Miaohua also followed, and all the hunters looked at each other in confusion. No one dared to step forward to stop him, mainly because the memory of the makeup exam was too deep. None of the macho men holding dragon carriages with their big swords dared to move. My name is Zhou Shuiyi, and I am the theoretical instructor of the hunter students. Just call me Teacher Zhou. Zhou Shuiyi saw Wen Miaohua come in and nodded to tell her to find a place to sit down. Li Chengen greeted me politely and said, Hello, Teacher Zhou. Zhou Shuiyi nodded with satisfaction. Finally, he had a good and knowledgeable student. Then let's get straight to the point. Let's take a test here first to see how your foundation is. Li Chengen's face twitched. He didn't expect there would be exams during the summer vacation, but he still finished the exam paper honestly. When Miaohua didn't write anything, she just gave Zhou Shuiyi a badge. 
After Zhou Shui saw it, he just smiled politely and never mentioned the exam. After breaking through the level 2 beast master, Li Chengen's physical fitness and mental strength have been greatly improved. This test paper only took 10 minutes to answer. Zhou Shui picked up the test paper and glanced at it quickly. Hum, everything is correct. Look again, yes, this test paper is for graduate students. Full marks. Zhou Shui glanced at Li Chengen complicatedly and asked, Where is your origin, and what is your relationship with the little girl behind you? Li Chengen answered honestly, My father, Li Mingxuan, the one behind is my friend. Understood. The middle-aged scholar understood it completely. He thought that a good student was coming, but he didn't expect that he turned out to be a shallow water shark. Okay, Zhou Shui took out a piece of paper from his drawer, wrote a few strokes, stamped it, and handed it to Li Chengen. You have graduated from theory. If you want to read other knowledge, you can borrow it from the reading room on the second floor. After Li Chengen and Wen Miaohua left, Zhou Shui lay on a chair and lit a cigarette. In the smoke-filled room, Zhou Shui stared at the ceiling blankly. How could this student's teaching be so empty? When Li Chengen came out of the school with his graduation certificate, he happened to meet Duan Bai who was going back to drink. Ah, why did teacher Zhou let you back so quickly? Li Chengen shook the graduation certificate in his hand, and Duan Bai fell into a daze for an instant. Is that a graduation certificate for a theoretical course? This strong man was messy in the wind. He had spent so much effort to pass the test. It only took 10 minutes to finish. Duan Bai's mood suddenly dropped and he said, You are going to the actual combat instructor, I will take you there. With Duan Bai's kind guidance, Li Chengen and others were naturally happy. Practical course instructors are similar to theoretical course instructors. They are also semi-employed. However, the practical course instructor is also a hunter, and his life is not easy. Li Chengen came to a small house. There was a small yard behind the small house, just enough for a few people to exercise inside. There are also bamboos planted nearby, which looks particularly cool in this summer. Old Mu, come to the academy. Duan Bai's loud voice made the surrounding bamboo leaves tremble, and an old man with some gray hair walked out of the hut. He cursed and said, It's calling the soul. It's not like I can't hear it. Lao Mu saw Li Chengen behind Duan Bai at a glance, and immediately understood Duan Bai's purpose. Hey, what time is it, and Lao Zhou is actually willing to let him go? Duan Bai said proudly, this little brother passed the final exam in only 10 minutes. The tone was as if he was the one who passed the exam quickly. Lao Mu glanced at Li Chengen in surprise, with this talent, you should become a scholar or a hunter. Duan Bai didn't waste any time and said concisely, I have an excellent talent in melee combat with light weapons. Without training, I can master the blade strike by myself with just a reminder. When Lao Mu heard this, he was surprised and asked, Is it true or false? Why am I lying to you? Many people at the training ground have seen it. If you go out and ask around, you will know everything. Lao Mu nodded, half-heartedly convinced. He also knew that these hunters liked to see newcomers in trouble. Just like university seniors always like to hold ice cool out and watch the military training of freshmen at the beginning of the semester. The intentions are sinister and the psychology is very, distorted. Lao Mu grabbed Li Chengen's arm and touched his whole body under Li Chengen's horrified gaze. Have you had a series of breakthroughs recently? Li Chengen nodded. Lao Mu added. Breaking through too frequently, your physical fitness may seem to be improving quickly, but your foundation will not be solid. In addition, you are deficient in calcium. Li Chengen didn't believe his ears. He was suffering from calcium deficiency. Impossible, absolutely impossible. He always eats well. Lao Mu could see Li Chengen's disbelief and explained, from an ordinary person's perspective, you are not considered calcium deficient. But you are a hunter. Hunters have very strict physical requirements. In my eyes, you have a serious calcium deficiency. Before going back, go to the store on the hunter's trail to buy calcium tablets and nutritional bars. If you have conditions, buy dragon bone calcium tablets. If you don't, just buy ordinary bone powder calcium tablets. If you have difficulties, go to the reception desk to apply for hardship subsidies. There are no requirements for the energy bar. By the way, how big is your beast control space? 
It used to be 500 cubic meters, but now it's 1,000 cubic meters. Li Chang'in is a Chinese person who likes to compromise. Old Mu Duambi. When Miao Hua covered her mouth and chuckled, she especially liked Li Chang'in's expressionless expression when he said some shocking words. Lao Mu. What kind of genius have I not seen? Isn't it just doubling 500 cubic meters? I really have never seen such an animal. Is the breakthrough of young people's beast control space now calculated as doubling? Aren't low-level beastmasters always stacked with dozens of cubes and dozens of cubes like this? Lao Mu felt that it had been too long since he had been living with ordinary people. Well, that must be the case. Lao Mu quickly adjusted his mentality and recommended a B-grade nutritional bar to Li Chang'an. Above B level, there are a level and S level. If you want to supplement your nutrition, you can only eat the hunter spiritual food package provided by the tavern. What weapon is the best for you to get used to? Lao Mu asked Li Chang'an. Li Chang'an answered truthfully. Tachi, followed by one-handed sword, double-edged sword, and finally long stick. Lao Mu directly picked up two wooden swords and threw one to Li Chang'an. Then practice Tai sword and don't think about anything else. When facing a strong enemy, mastering a little bit is far more effective than mastering all weapons. Besides, the derived skills behind each weapon are as numerous as the stars, which cannot be learned. Li Chang'in was very interested in the subsequent derivative skills and asked, are there many of these derivative skills? Lao Mu took a deep look at Li Chang'in. Past experience told him that if he didn't tell these curious students about these things and shortcomings, things would easily go wrong in subsequent training. All weapons have basic techniques and advanced techniques. After learning these, you can use your merits to the union to exchange for the inheritance of hunting skills. Hunting skills can be divided into three major levels of inheritance, low, medium and high. On top of these, there is also the inheritance of the king level. But you'd better create your own king level skills before passing on the king level hunting skills. This is advice given to you by someone who has experienced it. Li Chang'an nodded seriously. One thing about him is that he never uses his own imagination to challenge other people's expertise. Seeing how knowledgeable this newcomer was, Lao Mu became even more enthusiastic about teaching. He picked up the Tai Sword and taught Li Chang'an the basic skills of Tai Sword. The basics of Tai Sword are chopping. Whether it is upward pick, cassock slash, or other advanced skills, they are all derived from this. As for thrusting, it can only be said to be the icing on the cake. If you really want to learn thrusting, you might as well learn to spear. Lao Mu explained the key points of the basics of Tai Sword to Li Chang'an in detail. Li Chang'an listened very carefully and the movements of his hands became more standardized. After a while, he entered the state, and his talent of ingenuity and sleight of hand continued to operate and play its role. The more Lao Mu taught, the more frightened he became. What happened to this student? Once you get started, you'll be good at it, and after a while, hey, it becomes your own thing. This talent made Lao Emu's eyelids jump wildly, it was so abnormal. So I couldn't help but ask, what's going on with your learning speed? Are there any side effects? Li Chengen didn't mind explaining his talent, so he said, this is my talent dexterity. According to my practice, I can quickly master any skill that I can master, and then I will have some insights in my heart. Over time, I will learn faster. Lao Mu and Duan Bai, who were watching, had only four words in their minds, what a foul. And are you accumulating it over time? It took only 10 minutes to completely master the basic skills, and by the way, I became proficient. Xiao Bai said in Wen Miao Hua's heart, hey, I guessed it was a spiritual talent. Generally speaking, this kind of passive ability to improve understanding is basically the top talent in the spiritual field. When Miao Hu asked, isn't it the soul realm? Xiao Bai, although the soul realm also has the talent to improve understanding, it is not as exaggerated as the spiritual realm. Such talents in the spiritual realm are absolute intuition. At a glance, you feel that it is the right thing to do. Gifts in the soul realm are about perceiving things in detail catching a glimpse of something, and knowing the whole situation from just one point. The synonym for spiritual talents is unreasonable, foul. When Miaohua, asterisk, asterisk, I see, Xiaobai also thought. The upper limit for possessing such talents is very high, 
but without good means of protection in the early stage, people with ordinary talents will die faster than those with ordinary talents. It is better to strengthen the talents. But, Xiaobai thought of the cute kitten that Li Chengen contracted with. This time it was different. There were very few creatures in the world that could escape the protection of that monster. If necessary, wait for it to grow up, and hell will be broken for you. When Lao Mu learned about Li Chengen's unreasonable talent, he let go and didn't mention anything about proficiency. The advanced sword techniques were also handed over to Li Chengen. The realm techniques of Tai Sword are Air Blade Slash and Broken Blade Slash. As for the subsequent Air Blade Burst and Broken Blade combo, we can wait until you master the momentum skillfully. Li Chengen also learned that the level of skill is different from the proficiency of Pet Beast skills. The realm of skills is divided into four realms, obtaining form, penetrating into details, clarifying meaning, and seeing spirit. Mastering a skill belongs to the realm of, obtaining its form. Mastery, as Lao Mu said, is the realm of, getting into the subtleties. Converting skills into something of your own, with its own charm, is, clear meaning. This is the basis of Li Chengen's Tai Sword. The final, seeing the gods, is sublimation, a miracle, and breaking through the upper limit of a hunter. According to Lao Emu's description, if the basic skills of Tai Sword reach the realm of seeing the gods, its power is no less effective than any mid-level hunting skills, and it will be of great benefit to hunters in learning high-level hunting skills in the future. Lao Mut specifically asked Li Chengen to practice the basics of Tai Sword and strive to reach the state of seeing gods. If he reaches the state of seeing God before the end of the summer vacation, he will give Li Chengen a set of gifts. Li Chengen agreed. Then Li Chengen said goodbye to Lao Mu. At this stage, he has learned everything he should learn, and the only thing left is continuous practice. Duan Bai saw incredible scenes one after another today, so he generously treated Li Chengen and Wen Miaohua to a meal. It is, red braised dragon loin, taken from the waist position of the leader-level thin-blooded dragon species, the eyed flying dragon. Not only was the dragon loin meat not good at cooking, but it was also very chewy. Coupled with the thin layer of fat, Li Chengen and Wen Miaohua's appetites were whetted. In the end, two large pots full of red braised dragon loin were eaten cleanly, and Duan Bai laughed happily. After exchanging communication numbers with Li Chengen, Duan Bai took a task after dinner and left. Li Chengen and Wen Miaohua also hurried home. If it were later, the two mothers would probably have to cook red beans and rice. But before going back, he still bought nutrition bars and calcium tablets at the Union Logistics office. After returning home, Li Chengen opened the door and saw Yao Yaosheng helplessly in the arms of Ms. Mu Qingqing, being rubbed wantonly by her. As soon as she saw Li Chengen return, Yao Yao immediately broke away from Mu Qingqing's restraints and jumped into his arms, tearfully accusing Ms. Mu Qingqing of atrocities. Li Chengen had a guilty look on his face and glared at his unattractive mother. Mu Qingqing didn't take it seriously and even winked at Li Chengen, as if he had to take care of me. He was very tired looking at it. So Li Chengen said to Yao Yao, open your mind and don't resist. With a finger pointed at Yao Yao's forehead, the bloodthorn formation instantly unfolded, and Yao Yao was immediately taken into the beast controlling space. Mu Qingqing was stunned for a moment, unable to react, and said, son, have you broken through to level 2 beast master? Li Chengen was still checking Yao Yao's information at this time. When Miao Wati Li Chengen opened his mouth and explained many things that happened today. The more Feng Cici listened, the brighter her eyes became, and the look she looked at Li Chengen became more and more satisfied. Mu Qingqing didn't expect that she had underestimated Li Chengen's talent before, and she didn't expect that her son's talent was so strong. Xiao An's talent cannot be wasted. Mu Qingqing immediately thought of this problem. Although the Hunter Guild's instructors were qualified, they were only ordinary geniuses. A person of Xiao An's level would be a waste of resources. It seemed that he needed to use his husband's connections to find a famous teacher for Xiao An. Li Chengen not only looked at Yao Yao's talent, but also looked at Mao Mao's new skills. Mao Mao's skill proficiency has not changed much. The new skill is a high-level skill, Lava Field. As you can tell from the name, it is a field skill, which increases the power of Mao Mao Sancheng's Hellfire and can also cause a slight suppression effect on the opponent. As for Yao Yao's panel, it is somewhat not up to the standards of ordinary pet beasts. 
Name, Yao Yao. Race, Double Leaf Rabbit. Attribute, Wood. Level, Awakening Stage. Potential, Elite Low. Innate Abilities, Moonlight Affinity, Potion Breaking. Low Level Skills, Leaf Blade Mastery Level. Intermediate Skill, Blessing of Grass Proficient Level. Status, Scared, Confused. Dual talents, potential that does not meet the qualifications of Futaba Rabbit, and those two awakening cubs whose skill proficiency exceeds 99%. Yao Yao is indeed the illegitimate daughter of that high-level monster. Li Chengen saw Yao Yao's state and immediately knew that Yao Yao might have accidentally touched Mao Mao in a relaxed state. But he didn't faint. Well, there was progress. Li Chengen immediately summoned Yao Yao. The little guy was still in a state of shock, his body trembling as if he had been frightened. Li Chengen comforted Yao Yao, and asked Mu Qingqing on the other hand, what kind of talent is medicine making? In an instant, the heated conversation between Mu Qingqing and Feng Cici stopped abruptly, and the entire Li family fell into silence. Mu Qingqing stiffened her face and asked, Xiaoan, what did you just ask? I really want to hear something terrible. What type of talent is potion making? The expression on Mu Qingqing's face immediately became serious and she asked, Where did you know how to make medicine? Li Chengen pointed at Yao Yao and said, Yao Yao's talent. Isn't Yao Yao a mutated double leaf rabbit? Looks like it. Mother and son fell into silence. After a while, Mu Qingqing took the lead in explaining, Farming is the unique talent of the medicine rabbit clan. How come I haven't heard of magical beasts like medicine rabbits? The medicine-making rabbit tribe is strictly controlled by the Dongguang Kingdom, and ordinary people are naturally unable to access it. Moreover, the evolutionary form of the medicine-making rabbit is related to the mythical tribe, so the relevant information will not be recorded in the textbooks. Li Chengen suddenly realized that this was the case. Mu Qingqing asked again, Are you sure Yao Yao has the talent to make medicine? Li Chengen dropped another depth charge and said, I'm sure, Yao Yao not only has the talent for making medicine, but also the talent for moonlight affinity. This sentence completely convinced Mu Qingqing that Yao Yao's bloodline was that of the medicine rabbit, because the evolved form of the medicine rabbit was indeed as bright as the moon. Gee, she would be jealous of her son's luck. Yao Yao was obtained from the Institute of Ecology. Li Mingxuan was afraid that he might have a myocardial infarction after hearing it. As a researcher, he didn't notice Yao Yao's specialness. When Mu Qingqing thought of that scene, the rosy smile on her face became even brighter. Li Chengen knew very well that he could not interrupt his mother's imagination at this time, otherwise he would be the one who would suffer early. Xiao Bai was also shocked when he learned about Yao Yao's special nature from Wen Miaohua. Xiao Bai, with moonlight affinity and potion, this little rabbit is born to evolve in the direction of the Taiyan Jade Rabbit. According to you humans, it is one of the strongest harmonizer groups. In addition, Xiaobai also encouraged Wen Miaohua to get along well with Yao Yao, and try to help her make a moon toad cinnamon cake in the future, and also add a piece of Taiyan Jade cinnamon dew. That thing is so old in its heritage memory. Wen Miaohua ignored Xiaobai's nagging and instead recorded Xiaobai's swear words in a notebook today. It turns out that auspicious beasts can also say dirty words. Noob, Feng Cici and Mu Qingqing chatted for a while, then took Wen Miaohua and left. After the two left, Mu Qingqing grabbed Li Chengen and came to the studio at home. While guiding Li Chengen on the shortcomings of the intermediate lava package, he also focused on teaching Yao Yao on the basics of blending. According to Mu Qingqing's explanation of the medicine breaking talent, this skill can not only increase the success rate of blending, but can also sublimate the quality of the blended product when developed to a deeper level. Make it break through its own limitations. Li Chengen also compared the soul contract's explanation of poisoning and said with deep approval that it was too small. Mu Qingqing's situation has become smaller. Where is the need for development? Yao Yao's potion-breaking talent has the effect of sublimated concoctions from the beginning. Pounding medicine increases the success rate of blending by 10% and has a 0.1% chance of sublimating the quality of the blend. Is the probability very low? Not low. You must know that this is the talent effect of the awakening cub. The pet beast's talent will continue to improve with its strength and its own development. Yao Yao's probability is already very good. Especially the subsequent sublimation effect, you must know that in many cases the difficulty from 0 to 1 is much greater than the difficulty from 1 to 99. 
Yao Yao has completed the transformation from zero to one. After learning that Yao Yao's talent already included the effect of biochemical quality, Mu Qingqing's envy, jealousy and hatred almost overflowed the screen. When I heard that Yao Yao still mastered the magical blender skill of green grass blessing. Ms. Mu Qingqing has gone completely crazy. What kind of magical beast is this? She hasn't yet. So the petty Ms. Mu Qingqing kicked Li Chengen out of the studio, claiming that she wanted to live with Yao Yao. Li Chengen smiled helplessly, but this was not a bad thing. Under the loving guidance of Mu Qingqing, Yao Yao will be more helpful to Li Chengen in the future. Only then did Li Chengen realize that his mother was paving the way for his future. Mu Qingqing specially put aside the precious retreat time to advance to the second level harmony master to teach the basics of his pet beast. I would like to ask, will a being who is about to break through to the second level harmony master lack the best blending beast assistant? Poor parents in the world, Li Chengen felt warm in his heart. And Mu Qingqing's answer is lack, very lack. While guiding Yao Yao, Mu Qingqing saw with her own eyes that Yao Yao accidentally triggered the entire process of sublimating spiritual food quality. This kind of process is very rare. If there is no contract with the Medicine Rabbit Clan, it can only be seen in scenes where the Reconciliation Master goes all out. Not to mention watching the whole process so close. This touched Mu Qingqing so much that he made a second-level spiritual food meal in the studio that night. Conveniently, I upgraded the lava package that Li Chengden needed to the upper limit of the King level. Mu Qingqing, originally from Tianong City in Province Z, became the youngest second-level blending master in Province Z at the age of 39 in July of the year 5531 of the Eastern Huang calendar. Li Chengden learned the good news the next day and sincerely blessed his mother. Mu Qingqing's face was glowing today, and she specially cooked a feast for Li Chengen, Mao Mao and other pet animals. After giving Li Chengen a large food box and a ring, he hugged Yao Yao and kicked Li Chengen out of the house. Li Chengen was carrying a food box and Mao Mao was squatting on his shoulders, looking helplessly at the closed door of the Li family. Mao Mao didn't care, it also had ancient memories, and its thoughts were similar to Xiao Bai's. They quickly trained Yao Yao well so that she could eat and drink well in the future. I am envious of the large number of solitary fellows. Li Chengen had no choice but to go to the Hunter Guild's training ground to practice his memory and use the Union's energy drainage formation. Especially near the school in Lao Emu's cabin, the life energy is very strong. On the way to take the subway, Li Chengen discovered that the ring Mu Qingqing gave him turned out to be a space storage device. It is a space ring that is often seen in novels. It is not too big, about 20 cubic meters in size. Similar space storage devices are not uncommon in Blue Star, because among the group of beast masters who are space friendly per capita, it is not too difficult for a king level beast master to create a small space. High level beast masters can also use pet beasts and instruments to create space storage equipment. Although it is quite a lot, the space ring is still very expensive. At least it is a luxury item that Li Chengen cannot afford with his 10 years of pocket money. After getting off the car, he found an empty toilet. Li Chengen used his mental power to recognize the main space ring, put the food box in, and then walked to the Hunter Guild with ease. The young man sitting in front of the Hunter Guild has been replaced by a cute girl wearing glasses. According to her, this front desk position is on rotation, and it happened to be her turn today. Passing through the black door, Li Chengen now went to the reading room on the second floor and checked out relevant information about hunters and hunting skills. I gained a lot from it, and got a lot of comments and, sarcastic comments from my seniors. I can't learn the latter part, and Li Chengen doesn't have this kind of personality, so I should expand my knowledge. In addition to these, Li Chengen also borrowed books about ancient dragons. To his surprise, the information about ancient dragons that was strictly blocked outside could be read at will here. Not at all defensive. Then Li Chengen's question was answered on the opinion page of this book. It turns out that compared to Beastmasters, the probability of a hunter encountering an ancient dragon is probably several times higher. Therefore, in order to improve the survival probability of hunters, some unnecessary blocked ancient dragon information is naturally released here. Of course, it can't be spread to outsiders. The contract Li Chengen signed had confidentiality regulations. In addition to the four ancient dragons in Xiao Chengen's memory, 
Li Chengen also learned about a dozen other ancient dragons from the book. It was an eye-opener for him. The Lord of the Abyss who controls tsunamis, the Phantom Light Crying Sea Dragon. The Sacred Life of Walking in the Rainforest, Fairy Banyan Dragon. The Violent Axe that Crosses the Sand Sea, Zunxia Axe Mountain Dragon. Dot dot. The four ancient dragons in Xiao Chengen's memory are actually known to everyone in Dongguang Kingdom. At the beginning of spring, everyone in the Dongguang Kingdom will hear the thunder, the purple thunder Zun, Yu Dian Shangguang. Each summer represents the arrival of typhoons, Kangfeng Zun, Rainbow Dragon. Every autumn, the harvest god, the six-winged golden dream dragon, sprinkles golden dreams in the sky. And the jade linlong is a beautiful existence that blows cold wind from Tianzhu Mountain in winter. They are all existences closely related to people's lives, and they cannot be hidden even if they want to. Seeing that Li Chang'an was so fascinated by Ji Yulong, Mao Mao also looked anxious. Miao, Miao, Chang'an, look at me. I am also very powerful. When you grow up, no one here can beat me. Li Chang'an chuckled softly, hugged Mao Mao lovingly, and said, Well, of course I know you are the most powerful, you are the original dragon of the future. Hearing this, Mao Mao rolled happily in Li Chang'an's arms. Li Chang'an knows that Mao Mao is not bragging, because the ancient dragon recorded here is not the original dragon, and Mao Mao has a high probability of becoming the original Hell Flame dragon in the future. To this day, he still remembers the scene of the phantom burning the planet. That is Mao Mao's future. After leaving the reading room, Li Chang'an went straight to the training ground to start today's training. On the weapon rack at the edge of the training ground, pick up Itachi and practice the basic techniques a few times. After you have some insights in your mind, you can then start practicing the advanced techniques. The basic technique of Tai Sword in Li Chang'an's hand is to quickly accumulate sword power. The book in the reading room says that for a general Taito user to accumulate one level of power, he needs to attack about 15 to 20 swords effectively. Li Chang'an is much less powerful, and he can accumulate a full level of potential with 10 swords. There are many such characteristics in the history of hunters. The real difference is the realm of seeing gods. The realm of seeing the gods is to make a leap on the original basis to achieve effects that are impossible to achieve. For example, in the Mingyi realm similar to Li Chang'an, some hunters have reached the god-seeing realm of basic skills, and the effect they exert is that one sword can satisfy the accumulation of a level of sword power. Some are used repeatedly with rapid accumulation of sword power and seamless switching of blade-breaking strikes. Li Chang'an still doesn't know how he will develop in the future. Now he is a newbie among newbies. I have seen too little and had too little experience with hunters. Even with the blessing of talent, it will be difficult to reach the state of seeing gods in a short period of time. Therefore, he needed to read more and learn more, so Li Chang'an usually focused on the practice of advanced techniques. There are two advanced techniques of Ta Chi, breaking blade attack and air blade slashing. Corresponding to the two aspects of potential, release and accumulation. Blade breaking strike, is to release the sword wielder's accumulated sword power at once, causing considerable damage. Li Chengen also saw the specific effect, and it was quite impressive. He could leave an obvious slash mark on a puppet that was as good as steel with a sword that had not been sharpened. No, three, and two additional attacks also left traces. Air blade slash, continuously consumes the sword power accumulated by the Taito user, but during the consumption process, the sword power on the Taito user will be gradually refined. Make it purer and sharper. After it is consumed, the sword power on the Taito user will start to accumulate again from a higher starting point. The sword power at this starting point is terrifying enough to be observed by the naked eye. At this time, a layer of inconspicuous white light will be attached to the sword. After the second cumulative purification, the sword power looks like a yellow light. After the last cumulative purification, Tachi will turn into a scarlet blade. This is why the Tachi wielder is called the maniac with a bloody blade. The power of a Taitoji in the red blade state is extremely terrifying, whether it is a flat A or a broken blade attack. It is said to be enough to break through the dragon scales of a pure blood dragon of the same level. You must know that the dragon's bloodline seems to increase linearly, but in fact it is a cliff-like improvement. The strength of pure blood dragons is extremely terrifying. From high to low, the dragon bloodline can be divided into pure blood, 
sub dragon species, mixed blood dragon species, mixed blood dragon species, thin blood dragon species, and the lowest dragon beast. With the same strength, each level in terms of bloodline has absolute suppression on the level below. It is basically impossible for a thin blooded dragon to defeat a hybrid dragon of the same level. Unless there is a beast master using beast control resonance to assist the thin blood dragon species against the ownerless hybrid dragon species in the wild. Otherwise, there are no exceptions. The attack of the Tatoji can break through the pure blood dragon's defense, which is enough to show the power of the Tatoji's attack. But if you want to master the skills of the red blade, you need to be proficient in the control of the sword. Although Li Chengen's current advanced skills are at the subtle level, it stands to reason that he can initially superimpose the second level of the yellow blade state. But he had just used the air blade slashing skills to condense the white blade, and he was already exhausted, and he almost couldn't stabilize the white blade. Li Chengen tried it several times with the same effect. So he chose to ask Lao Mu the reason. After Lao Mu learned about Li Chengen's current predicament, he burst out laughing and said, the accumulation of sword power and skills are different. Even if your skills are magical and you haven't experienced the baptism of actual combat, you will still be the flower in the mirror and the moon in the water. How can the power of the sword condensed in this way be strong? For example, if you compare it with a formal sword wielder's sword, yours is cotton, beautiful but useless. As for the sword wielder who has experienced bloody battles, his sword is like white steel condensed into a single tendon. It will break as soon as you touch him. How can it be the same? To achieve success in sword fighting requires not only proficient skills, but also murderous aura, murderous intent, and an absolute will without fear of life or death. Li Chengen sighed deeply. He was only a student and was not qualified to take on hunting missions. How could he enter actual combat? Lao Mu knew Li Chengen's current predicament, so he picked up his cigarette rod and hit Li Chengen on the head. Hey, Li Chengen cried out in pain. Lao Mu took a puff of cigarette and said, You are so stubborn that you can't turn around. Just because you are not qualified in the Hunter Guild does not mean that you are not qualified in the Beast Control Association. Don't you know, hunters from the Hunter Guild can also register as an official Beast Master with the Beast Mastering Association. Your kid's realm and the strength of your pet beast have reached the standard. Just go to the Beast Mastering Association to take the exam to become an official Beast Master, and then accept the mission. Others use pet beasts to fight, so why don't you use a sword to fight? The Beast Taming Association doesn't care what method you use to complete the task, as long as it's legal. Li Chengen's eyes suddenly lit up, yes, there is also this way to exploit loopholes. He also remembered that the young receptionist had mentioned before that the identity of the Hunter's Guild did not conflict with the Beast Mastering Association. Mao Mao has already achieved extraordinary one-star strength, which is enough to complete the official Beast Master's assessment. Li Chengen thanked Lao Mu and promised to bring some good wine next time. Lao Mu pretended not to care on his face, but the look in his eyes was very satisfied. Before Li Chengen left happily, he reminded. Remember to use a wooden sword. An iron sword will kill you instantly, and it will have no effect on experience at all. Li Chengen waved his hand without looking back and shouted, Got it. At the Hunter Guild's logistics office, Li Chengen purchased ten wooden training swords and put them into the space ring. The receptionist at the logistics office glanced at Li Chengen, who still had a look of anticipation on his face, and pointed to a medicine name on the purchase list. He said, buy some more healing potions. Don't be afraid of 10,000, just be afraid of the unexpected. Even if you have confidence in yourself, you must be prepared. Li Chengen was a little surprised because he realized that the receptionist had no intention of taking the opportunity to bring goods. At this time, I heard the receptionist say, I have met countless young people like you over the years. Oh, forget it, there are indeed some omissions in the regulations between the two organizations. But I still have to remind you that there are many students who have lost their lives due to carelessness. You'd better be mentally prepared. Li Chengen's expression became solemn, and he immediately ordered 10 bottles of healing medicine, using up all his pocket money this month. The logistics receptionist took out 10 bottles of light green healing medicine and said, it can be used externally or internally. If there is infection and pus, remember to treat the wound well before applying the medicine. Li Chengen thanked the logistics receptionist who had worked for more than 10 years. 
the Beast Controlling Association and the Hunters Union are not far apart. After leaving the Hunters Union, we took the number 11 bus and after a few stops, we arrived at the Beast Controlling Association. Compared with the old wooden doors of the Hunter Guild, the Beast Mastering Association is much more elegant. The tall doors and white walls, and the polished floors alone surpass the bluestone tiles of the Hunter Guild. The popularity is also much higher than that of the Hunter Guild. People come and go inside and outside the gate, and there are many kinds of pet animals, such as blue lake dogs, white electric cats, Tianju orchids and so on. Li Chengen even saw a rare pet like a dark-scaled horse, whose owner was still a high school student. He could only say that he admired him. Those who dared to contract with the dark element at the beginning of the beast control were all ruthless people. Without the relevant talents to resist, the invasion of dark elements alone will make the body weak, and over time, life will be shortened. The specific amount of life lost depends on whether you break through the realm quickly or your lifespan is consumed quickly. As long as he breaks through to the king level beast master before his lifespan is exhausted, he won't have to worry about the intrusion of dark elements. The same is true for light beasts, except that the loss of life has turned into excitement. Due to the purifying effect of the light element, the beast master's body will remain awake for a long time. Forced to be 007 every day, or even worse. If things go on like this, the probability of sudden death is extremely high, which is even more deceptive than the dark element. Li Chengen doesn't dare to follow this fateful path, which is more dangerous than a hunter. This is why the school always emphasizes not to covet pet beasts with powerful attributes, because it will really kill people. Li Chengen signed up and waited in his seat for a long time before hearing his number. The exquisitely dressed front desk lady asked, Sir, what service do you want to provide? Register for official Beast Master qualification. The lady at the front desk very dutifully explained to Li Chengen the requirements and precautions for registering as an official Beast Master. After Li Chengen registered the information, he took the assessment form and followed the address above to the assessment venue within the Beast Taming Association. The assessment venue is quite large, which is a few laps smaller than the Hunter Guild's training ground. Can assess three apprentice Beast Masters at the same time. Since high school students are just on vacation at this time, the proportion of students who come here for assessment is still relatively large. There are nine people in front of Li Chengen, six are students and three are adults who have entered the society. They have a strong atmosphere of social animals. The assessment indicator of the Beast Mastering Association is to use your own initial pet beast to defeat the pet beast released by the examiner. It's that simple. As for the written examination, having a trainee Beast Master qualification certificate means that your academic performance is qualified. Naturally, the Beast Taming Association will not waste manpower and material resources on conducting written examinations. In the waiting room, Li Chengen discovered that the examiners were careful in choosing the pets they released. For example, if the candidate's pet animal is a weak tusk rat, the examiner will release a slightly stronger burrowing rabbit. If the candidate's pet animal is relatively strong, a blue lagoon, then the examiner will release a stronger chrysanthemum child. As long as you can command your pet beast and defeat the pet beast that is stronger than yourself, you can pass the level. During the entire assessment process, the examiner will not issue instructions. This is what hunters call the baby test. It's pretty simple. Li Chengen breathed a sigh of relief. If it were more difficult, with his three-legged cat's commanding ability, he probably wouldn't have to rely on Mao Mao's instinct to get through. Two and a half hours passed, and the assessment of the nine people in front of Li Chengen was finally completed. While waiting, there were about ten more people waiting for the exam behind him. It seemed that at this time, the assessment business of the Beast Taming Association was quite busy. Candidate number 63, please come forward. Li Chengen came to the command seat on the opposite platform and, in accordance with the regulations, took the lead in summoning Mao Mao. The contract formation of thorns and stars under his feet flashed quickly, and Mao Mao in the form of a kitten appeared on the battlefield. He exuded the aura of a hybrid dragon. This is what Li Chengen specifically explained. Unfortunately, the master level proficiency of Fuin technique can only try to contain the aura to this extent. Of course, the hidden technique is only a low-level skill. Being able to do this is already considered the best skill among the best low-level skills. 
The examiner opposite felt the dragon aura exuding from Mao Mao, and the corner of his mouth twitched. Good guy, let's go straight to the dragon pet beast. Look at the aura, it's not lower than the level of a hybrid dragon. Which young man came to take the exam? The examiner took a deep breath. None of the pet beasts given by the association were of this level, so he could only send out the strongest pet beast. A shadow leopard with purple and black spots, a dark type pet that is very powerful in the early stage. Ever since Shadow Leopard was sent out, his elegant posture had changed on the spot. He calmly stared at the little kitten 10 meters away, lowered his body, bared his teeth, and was ready to go. Mau Mau yawned and changed from a squatting position to a standing position, which was a courtesy to the little kitten opposite. Mau Mau, Hell Flame. After receiving the instruction, Mau Mau opened his mouth and spat out a dark red fireball of hellfire, which quickly hit the Shadow Leopard. The shadow leopard's pupils instantly turned into needle shapes. Just as it was about to use its racial talent to escape into the shadows, it was interrupted by a terrifying power. He froze in place for two seconds. These two seconds decided the outcome. The prison flames hit the shadow leopard, which had high attack and low defense, immediately making the little leopard lose its meaning. Mau Mau withdrew the hellfire burning on shadow leopard's body to prevent the fragile little leopard from burning to death. Cheng An said that accidentally killing an assessment beast would be equivalent to its food expenses for a month. The greedy Mao Mao couldn't bear this, so he lowered his dignity and removed the burning effect of Hellfire for Shadow Leopard. The scene of instantly killing the Shadow Leopard fell in the eyes of the next few candidates, and they all swallowed their saliva. Instant kill. It's also the Dark Shadow Leopard known for its agility. They realized how powerful the young man standing on the command seat was. However, some people couldn't see it and hummed in a low voice, isn't it just relying on my family to buy a good starting pet beast? I have this family and I can do it. When the candidates near this person heard this, they quickly distanced themselves from him. They were desperate for their lives. They knew that the other person had a good background and yet they dared to say this. Don't be afraid of being retaliated against in the future. Li Chengen, who has sharp ears, naturally heard this sour sentence. He had no idea that such treatment as the villain in the novel would one day happen to him. Life is truly amazing. But what's the point? Li Chengen hugged Mao Mao with both hands, stroking the soft mane on the little guy's head and praising its sensibleness in the soul contract. The examiner on the opposite side was a little stunned when he saw this scene, and his original idea was immediately given up. To be so close to a pet beast with dragon bloodline, this young man is not an evil person. The person in the audience snorted jealously before, but there were people behind who couldn't stand it. So he complained to the person, what's so impressive about you? Look at your shield crab and your appearance. You rarely get close to it. Look at the closeness between this person and his pet beast. You are so far away from me. The man said harshly, if I had a dragon pet, I would interact closely with it every day. Hearing the man's shameless nonsense, someone said angrily, with your face, even if you lick the assholes of a dragon beast, no one will look down on you. The man was furious, but the others also had sneering expressions. A scumbag who doesn't even cherish his pet beast. Even if a pure blood dragon cub appears in front of him, the cub won't even look at him. The high school teacher taught me very clearly that the more advanced the pet beast cub is, the more sensitive its perception is and it can easily sense human emotions. Some can even sense human character. It is precisely because of this that it is so difficult to contract with the cubs of these advanced tribes. Not only do you choose your pet, but your pet also chooses its master. If you are not qualified, people will ignore you. Don't talk about this lemon-loving man. Li Chengen didn't care about the farce, got the certificate, and went straight to the front lobby. After registering as an official beast master, Li Chengen came to the mission hall with the beast master badge. The layout of the mission hall is very sci-fi, and all are intelligently operated instruments. The only human services are engineers who maintain the smart taskbar and volunteers who teach new beast masters how to use the equipment. The beast master uses the beast master badge to select the appropriate task on the smart taskbar. After the connection is successful, a projection screen will pop up on the beast master badge, recording detailed mission information. Li Chengen easily found a task to remove the black-tusked wild boar. Unlike the Hunter Guild, 
There are very few single-player hunting missions here, and new Beastmasters mostly take on gathering missions. Or choose those hunting missions that can be organized into groups. Although the money is less, it is safer. In today's society, young people are not stupid. Few people would recklessly choose dangerous solo combat missions like in the novel. If your life is gone, you are really gone. Forming a group is the best option. But Li Chang'an is an exception. He came to the Beast Mastering Association just to fight. This single-player combat mission is to clean up several extraordinary one-star black-tusked wild boars, and the rewards are generous. The reward of 5,000 yuan for a black-tusked wild boar is almost a month's salary of an ordinary wage earner, not to mention the meat collected from the black-tusked wild boar and the pair of black tusks. Based on this calculation, killing a black-tusked wild boar can yield about 7,000 minus 8,000 dongguang coins. After completing the entire task, if you move quickly, it will not be a problem to earn 30,000 to 40,000 yuan a day. This is also the reason why the family of a beast master is not short of money. The beast master makes so much money. But correspondingly, beast masters need to take greater risks. For example, Li Chang'an accepted the mission of the Black Tusked Wild Boar. The Black Tusked Wild Boar is a gregarious monster, and usually travels in groups of five or six. Ordinary novice beast masters can't defeat these rough-skinned, thick flesh, and high-attack black tusked wild boars. Although it is a task suitable for level 1 beast masters, those who take it are usually those who have started as level 3 beast masters. When Li Chengen accepted the commission, a volunteer promptly reminded him, this task is too dangerous. How about changing it? Li Chengen grinned and said, it's okay, what I want is danger. Volunteer. Chapter 31. After Li Chang'an left, the volunteer returned to his original place in confusion. When his companions saw his appearance, they couldn't help but ask, what did that new beast master just do to make you look like this? The volunteer told his companion what had just happened, and the companion suddenly understood. That's right, well, people like this appear from time to time. The volunteers were even more confused. Is there such a single-minded guy these days? The companion asked with a smile as the beast master just now a little different from the other newcomers. The volunteer nodded and said, it's a little different, I feel a little more capable. The companion clenched his fists, clapped his palms, and said with a smile, that's right. You haven't been here long, and you don't know about this kind of thing. That boy is from the hunter guild. Hunter's guild, why are the people from the hunter's guild here? The companion told the volunteer clearly about exploiting loopholes, and the volunteer was so shocked that he could not speak. The assessment of the hunter guild is too difficult. No wonder there are hunter students coming here to train. The volunteer's complaint reminded his companion of something in the past, and he murmured, but it is precisely because of these regulations that the hunters are stronger and our lives can be so stable, isn't it? The volunteer didn't hear clearly and asked, what did you say? The companion smiled and said, it's okay. You can pay attention to that young man in the future and introduce some difficult tasks to him, but you must also filter out the tasks that are too difficult. The volunteer mused. After receiving the task, Li Chengen used mobile phone map software to quickly find the task location and the fastest route. After leaving Hongyan City, walk 60 miles east to Anyang village in the county level city next door. Hongyan City is very large, a prefecture-level city. Now the Dongguang Kingdom is also very large. The entire Hongyan City is about one-third the size of the Northwest region in the previous life. And Province Z is several times larger than Europe in the previous life. Therefore, if Li Chengen wants to reach the mission location, it is unrealistic to take a taxi and needs to take an aircraft. The aircraft industry in Dongguang country is very developed, and the cost of long-distance flights is cheaper than taking a taxi. Fortunately, there is a place that provides aircraft services right next to the entrance of the Beast Mastering Association. For a fee of more than 500 yuan, Li Chengen booked a round-trip flight service package. A pilot piloted a car-sized aircraft and brought Li Chengen to the mission site. How long do you need? The aircraft pilot asked Li Chengen. Li Chengen looked at the time, 12.15 noon. Come pick me up at 1700 sharp. The aircraft pilot said that he understood, I will pick you up at 5 o'clock. If you need to go early, contact the attendant with the number on the badge and he will tell me. After saying that, the driver left. 
Li Chengen came to the village committee, first took the Beastmaster badge and used the projection function to show the village chief the proof that he had accepted the task. After seeing Li Chengen's certificate, the middle-aged man said to him, My name is Ma Jun, and I am the village chief of Anyang village. Little brother, are you sure you want to do this task? It's really dangerous. The worry and distrust on village chief Ma's face were very obvious, and Li Chengen naturally knew the other person's concerns. If something happened to him, their village would also be affected. So Li Chengen took out the hunter student certificate and said, I am still a hunter student, don't worry about me. Seeing this, village chief Ma felt a little relieved. The older generation still had a lot of trust in hunters. But Li Chengen was still a bit young, so village chief Ma decided to go with Li Chengen. The two came to the vegetable patch where black tusked wild boar often appeared, and Li Chengen took out the wooden tachi. Village chief Ma looked at the wooden sword and his eyes almost popped out of his head. What the hell, it's made of wood. Isn't this a joke? Just as village chief Ma was about to dissuade him, there was a loud noise in the forest opposite the vegetable field. Little brother, run. Village chief Ma wanted to pull Li Chengen back, but Li Chengen dodged him. Seeing this, village chief Ma could only stamp his feet angrily on the spot and then hid behind a tree. If something happens to this baby, I can still collect the body for his parents. Li Chengen's eyes were fixed on the direction of the sound, and his right hand was already on the handle of the sword. A one-meter-tall black-tusked wild boar emerged from the grass, followed immediately by four wild boars of the same size. Launched a charge towards the delicious buffet on the vegetable ground. Li Chengen drew his sword out of its sheath. Facing these behemoths, he didn't even have the slightest fear in his previous life when he didn't even dare to kill a chicken. There is only boiling blood and a cold heart. Stride and slash. Li Chengen slashed the leading black tusked wild boar on the forehead with his knife. The leading black tusked wild boar grunted in pain and retreated, grunting in pain. Several other black tusked wild boars also reacted and charged towards Li Chengen. Kasaya beheaded. Li Chengen took advantage of the cassock's ability to slightly change his position and nimbly dodged the charge of several black tusked wild boars. Also because Kasaya Slash can cut diagonally left and right, Li Chengen's sword power has been concentrated for most of it. At this time, the leading black tusked wild boar slowed down, and its half-meter-long black tusks glowed with an earthy yellow light. It's time to release your skills. While dodging, Li Chengen caught the movement of the black tusked wild boar with his peripheral vision. To stab, a dozen 30-centimeter-long earth-type spikes protruded from the ground below Li Chengen. Using the length of the sword, Li Chengen slashed a black tusked wild boar with force, and with the help of the reaction force, he left the range of the ground thorn. The sword power has been gathered. Several other black tusked wild boars also followed suit. Some had yellow energy teeth condensed on their black tusks, and some had white light glowing all over their bodies. Fang of Earth, Impact. Naturally, Li Chengen would not let these black tusked wild boars use their skills. Defeat them one by one. Air blade slash. Li Chengen swung his sword widely and performed large-scale horizontal cuts, and the breathtaking aura in his body was quickly consumed. That's the trouble with air blade slashing. The movement is too big. If you don't grasp it well, it's easy for the enemy to catch the flaw and catch you off guard. Li Chengen thought secretly. However, with his good mental strength and spiritual talent, he is still very good at seizing the opportunity. The air blade slashed three times in a row, interrupting the movement of the black tusked wild boar that gathered its teeth of earth. Then, with a roundabout slash, he used the reaction force to move a small step and avoid the collision of another black tusked wild boar. The white blade is condensed. This thrilling and exciting scene stunned village chief Ma who was peeking from a distance. Oh my god, this baby is so awesome. The eldest son of the second child's family who is in college isn't that good either. Immediately afterwards, the other three black tusked wild boars also joined the battle, collision, collision. This group of black tusked wild boars have found that the speed of condensing their skills is too slow and can easily be interrupted by this human. It's better to use your own powerful body and attack with the best collision skills. Li Chengen also noticed this, but unfortunately the white blade had already been condensed. This attack is not just painful. A black tusked wild boar was caught in a flaw, 
and Li Chang'an slashed its left front hoof with one knife, easily breaking its leg. The black-tusked wild boar had its front legs broken, and the impact of its body tore a deep and long dent on the ground. Seeing this, the other wild boars also became red-eyed and increased the frequency of collisions. Li Chang'an faced greater pressure, but the sword on him also became more powerful. The powerful slash that originally took time to prepare gradually turned into a level A under this kind of pressure. The talent of ingenuity is running at high speed, and countless inspirations emerge like a tide. Swing the knife. Swing the knife. Li Chengen cut off the head of a black-tusked wild boar with a casual blow, and the wooden knife did not cause any damage. The white light on Tachibana's body became much stronger than at the beginning, and it was slightly dazzling. Strength plus two. Good news came from the hunting notes. Li Chengen felt that the muscles in his arms were getting tighter. When village chief Ma saw this light, his memory returned to his childhood. At that time, Anyang village was in its early days and was infested by many monsters. Once when I was peeing on a field ridge, I was attacked by a black snake-like monster. At that time, several hunters passing by rescued him. Village chief Ma clearly remembered that one of the hunters was holding the same weapon as Li Chang'an. It was much larger than the broadsword in the TV series, Big and Long, and it also had this dazzling white light on it. This kid is really a hunter. Village chief Ma murmured absently behind the tree. The remaining four black-tusked wild boars were shocked when they saw the tragic situation of their companions being beheaded. The fear of strength in their bones reminds them to run away quickly. The leading black-tusked wild boar subconsciously retreated, while the less intelligent black-tusked wild boar rushed forward. Li Chang'an swung his sword, and the sword drew beautiful white traces in the air. With one horizontal cut, all the limbs of the black-tusked wild boar were cut off, blood flew, and it died of excessive bleeding not long after. Bad luck, no attribute gains. Suddenly, the black-tusked wild boar could no longer bear the fear in his heart. The leader of the black-tusked wild boar ran away with the other two younger ones who had broken their front legs. How could Li Chang'an let them go? You must know that wild boar-like monsters have strong reproductive capabilities. In a few years, the mountains will be full of piglets running all over the place. And it's a warcraft. With a certain amount of wisdom, it's easy for the villagers to be retaliated against after he leaves. The roots must be removed. At this time, Li Chang'an released Mao Mao and shouted, Mao Mao, stop the pig at the front. Li Chang'an was still able to catch up with the other two limping black-tusked wild boars. Even a car might not be able to catch up with the intact wild boar head and four trotters, let alone in the mountains and forests. This depends on Mao Mao. Mao Mao meowed excitedly, unfolded the dragon wings that transformed into the fire element state, and flew into the jungle. Li Chengen secretly worried. Don't set the forest on fire, otherwise I will have to drink tea. Under their desperate gazes, Li Chengen cut off the necks of the remaining two black tusked wild boars one by one. Boom. Boom, the dull sound of heavy objects hitting the ground sounded one after another. Strength plus two, strength plus two. Li Chang'an was holding a two-meter-long sword with a white glow on it. He stood in front of the carcasses of two wild boars, with a few bright blood stains on his trouser legs. This scene shocked village chief Ma who rushed to see the situation. This this, Li Chang'an smiled apologetically at village chief Ma and said, Village chief, there's another one left, I'll go after it. Before Chief Ma could stop him, Li Chang'an tapped his toes a few times and quickly disappeared from Chief Ma's sight. Li Chang'an followed the sole message sent by Mao Mao and came to the last location of the black-tusked boar leader. Mao Mao's tongue licked his front paws, and he squatted lazily on a black-tusked wild boar whose head was smashed. Judging from the smell of flesh emitting from the wound, Mao Mao should have been beaten to death with his hellfire claw. Ground Thorn Skill Stone Plus One Li Chang'an was a little surprised. He was not the one who killed him, but he could still explode gold coins. Then he realized that he and Mao Mao were perfectly compatible and had a soul contract connection. And now that half of the hunting notes are imprinted on his contract circle, it is not surprising that he can achieve this effect. Mao Mao's limbs ignited hellfire, burning away the stains that had just been stuck on his claws. Then he jumped up and landed lightly on Li Chang'an's shoulders. Li Chang'an's body tilted slightly, thinking, is Mao Mao getting heavier again? But he still asked, Mao Mao, 
Feel it, are there any accomplices of the black tusked wild boar? Mao Mao's head rubbed Li Chengen's ear and said, Meow, there are a group of pigs coming here again. Li Chengen was startled. The black tusked wild boar that came to support him was quite powerful and intelligent, and he asked, How long will it take to arrive? Meow, now, as soon as Mao Mao finished speaking, nine black tusked wild boars appeared in front of Li Chengen. The leading black tusked wild boar was three meters high and five meters long. The pair of black teeth were also more than one meter long and crystal clear, as if they were made of black onyx. Black Tusked Boar King, the extraordinary three-star wild boar leader. No matter how arrogant Li Chengen was, he didn't think he could kill the wild boar king. Besides, he was holding a wooden knife. It wasn't an iron sword. If it were an iron sword, he would still be able to fight. I'll leave the boss to you, Mao Mao. I'll do the rest. Li Chengen quickly assigned the battlefield and killed the remaining eight black tusked wild boars. This job is no easier than killing the black tusked wild boar king, because among the eight black tusked wild boars, two are at the extraordinary two star level. Same level as him. After receiving the order, Mao Mao could no longer hold back the killing intent in her heart. She jumped off her shoulders and returned to a one meter high fighting posture. It has been looking forward to killing for too long. It finally met someone with good strength and got Cheng An's permission. The bloodline of the Hell Flame Dragon has begun to boil. When the Black Tusked Wild Boar King saw Mao Mao, whose whole body was on fire, the blood in his body was trembling violently, as if he had encountered some invincible natural enemy. Mao Mao ignored Li Chengen, roared, and bumped towards the Black Tusked Wild Boar King. The Black Tusked Wild Boar King panicked and regained his senses. Of course, this is also because Mao Mao only uses the breath of the hybrid dragon species. It doesn't want to overwhelm this sparring partner with its breath, otherwise it will be too fun. Black energy lit up on the crystal black teeth of the black tusked wild boar king. It turns out to be dark energy. This black tusked wild boar king has reached the edge of evolution. It is one step away from evolving into a dark type dark tusked pig with elite and high potential. Shadow teeth. Facing the Black Tooth Boar King's counterattack, Mao Mao's eyes flashed with disdain. If an extraordinary three star pure blood dragon used this move, he would still dodge. Now, hide yourself. Mao Mao ran into him without evading, and Mao Mao's one meter tall body collided with the Wild Boar King's three meter tall body. With a click, the black teeth of the Black Tusked Wild Boar King were broken. At this time, in the eyes of the Black Tusked Wild Boar King, there was only deep fear. What kind of monster is this? Run away. Seeing that the situation was not good, the black tusked wild boar king ran away. How could Mao Mao let his prey escape? Thus started the evil fun of cat and mouse. The escape of the black tusked wild boar king indirectly affected the situation on Li Chengen's side. The two extraordinarily intelligent two star black tusked wild boars also panicked and became confused. This caused loopholes in the wild boar's charging pace. There is a flaw. Li Chengen seized the opportunity and swung his sword twice in succession, killing two extraordinary one star black tusked wild boars. Physique plus two. Two black tusked wild boars only exploded one gold coin. The enhancement of physical attributes makes Li Chengen's body's bones stronger, and the connection between muscles and blood becomes closer. In other words, his health bar limit has been increased. He is physically stronger, and the sword on his body is a bit more powerful. Without the two black tusked wild boars, the rest of the wild boar attack lineup also has many flaws. Li Chengen kept using his sword, and he would definitely take away a one star black tusked wild boar within three swords. Perhaps because the black tusked wild boar had lost its fighting spirit, Li Chengen did not receive attribute bonuses these few times. On the contrary, the sword on his body became heavier and heavier, and he saw the possibility of condensing the yellow blade. It's too late but it's soon. Li Chengen used air blade slash continuously to kill the remaining one star black tusked wild boars, and his sharp aura disappeared. Suddenly, a sharper knife emerged from his body, as if it could cut through everything in the world. The advanced skill of Tai Sword, air blade slash, clear intention. In the clear intention stage of air blade slashing, some people choose to resist interruption, some choose the heavy force of the sword, and some choose the speed of air blade slashing and the things Li Chengen chose made the knife even sharper. As long as it was sharp enough, 
he could behead it with one knife, and he didn't need a bicycle. No matter how fancy the other side is, you will die or be maimed if you hit me with a knife. This is what this brawl brought to Lee Changan. This is also thanks to the black-tusked wild boar's rough-skinned and thick-bodied defense. When he finally sheathed the sword, a flash of yellow light flashed across Li Chang'an's eyes. When the sword was drawn again, a brighter yellow air blade had condensed on the wood yellow blade. The yellow blade is on. Li Chang'an pointed his sword directly at the two panicked two-star black-tusked wild boars. One of them could no longer bear the fear and turned around and ran away. The other head seemed to be locked in place by fear. Thrust. Li Chang'an's body was like a fully drawn bow, shooting out like an arrow with a whoosh. The knife cuts across. The black tusked wild boar that stayed where it was was beheaded. Earth Attribute Affinity Plus 2. Useless Attributes. Li Chang'an secretly complained that he did not follow the earth style. Li Chang'an continued to chase the fleeing black tusked wild boar. In the yellow blade state, Li Chang'an's whole body functions have been greatly improved, which is even more exaggerated than the increase of many auxiliary beasts. Soon he caught up with the black tusked wild boar. Breaking blade strike. The yellow air blade popped out of the sword and struck the wild boar on the butt. Puff. Like the sound of a sharp blade cutting into rubber, the black tusked wild boar was disassembled. Immediately afterwards, two invisible attacks were shot out of the void, completely tearing the black tusked wild boar in half. Shadow of Prison Double Strike. This is the most tragic death of all black tusked wild boars. The fate of this wild boar tells us that being a deserter will not end well, even if you don't explode with gold coins. At the same time, endurance plus four. Mao Mao, Chang An, I've finished solving it. Mao Mao's victory provided Li Chang'an with four points of stamina. He felt that at least half of the fatigue accumulated in the previous battles had been eliminated. The Black Tusked Wild Boar King is such a good person. The smell of blood filled the jungle, but no predator dared to appear here. Mao Mao was still squatting on the body of the Black Tusked Wild Boar King, elegant and calm, and the hellfire on his body was still burning. The death of the Wild Boar King beneath him was unbearable, so tragic. He was probably killed by Mao Mao. Fortunately, the pair of Black Crystal Tusks are still in good condition and can be sold for a lot of money. When she saw Li Chang'an, Mao Mao's originally excited expression broke on the spot. Meow, Chang'an, can you dispel that momentum? It's very dangerous. Li Chang'an was very surprised. Can the realm of Mingyi he realized actually threaten the lower level ancient dragon? Mao Mao replied with certainty, Meow, Meow, number, but it will hurt for a long time if it is cut. Feeling bad, can I kill the soul with a sword? Mao Mao then explained the reason. It was not that the soul was cut, but that he felt very uncomfortable after being accidentally touched by Li Chang'an's sword. Li Chang'an never imagined that this discomfort could be literal. After struggling for a long time, he couldn't figure out why his sword power became like this. Probably it has something to do with my spiritual talent. Go back and ask Lao Mu. As soon as he collected the carcasses of nine black tusked wild boars, village chief Ma's call came from outside. Mr. Li, where are you? There were many voices with the same cry, and Li Chang'an followed the voices to find village chief Ma and others. There were several young people following village chief Ma. The leading young man was carrying a giant mushroom pig in front of him. The giant mushroom pig is one of the evolved types of the mushroom pig. It has low elite potential and relatively low combat effectiveness, but the mushrooms produced from it can be sold for a lot of money. The other young people are similar, they are all evolved types of mushroom pigs, but the strength of the pet beasts is the same as that of the young people leading it, and they have not reached the elite level. The moment he saw the giant mushroom pig, Li Chang'an instantly understood why there was a beast master in Anyang village, but he still had to issue tasks in the beast master association. Not everyone will choose a fighting pet. Li Chang'an murmured that the reason why he had the misunderstanding that most people would choose fighting beasts was because he was in Hongyan number. 1. Even if the students in the best high school in Hongyan City choose a resource-based pet, they will still consider the issue of combat effectiveness. But in fact, most students in other high schools will not consider the talent and ability of the initial pet beast. All they need is a pet beast that can bring them profits in the early stages. Only in this way can they have the capital to consider the combat effectiveness of their second pet. 
Li Chengen walked towards the direction of Chief Ma and the others, raised his hand and waved, Mr. Ma, I'm here. Village Chief Ma and others saw Li Chengen approaching and quickly stepped forward to ask if everything was okay. You're not hurt, are you? Li Chengen shook his head, indicating that he was fine, took out a black crystal tusk of the wild boar king, and said, I have killed all the black tusked wild boars nearby. You should not have to worry too much about the black tusked wild boars in the past few years. Quote, Several young college students were shocked when they saw the black crystal boar. Am I right? Those are the tusks of the black tusked wild boar king. Look at the color and energy fluctuations. This wild boar king will evolve independently in the near future. By then, with its elite level strength. The college students looked at me and I looked at you, with a hint of fear in their eyes. They obtained enough funds from the giant mushroom pig and contracted a good second pet, but it still takes time to cultivate the pet beasts, and they have not yet been trained to the time period where they can fight. Village Chief Ma touched his Mediterranean-like hair and sighed, My dear boy is actually the head of a black pig. This is amazing. While Chief Ma sighed, several young people also expressed their gratitude. Thank you, classmate, for helping our village get rid of this scourge. Yeah yeah, you are so awesome, I feel like even our school team may not be able to beat you. Li Chengden was not flattered by these innocuous flatteries, and was very proud of himself. On the other hand, these college students were so bad at flattery that he didn't feel anything at all. The five black-tusked wild boars outside were collected by the villagers and were taken care of by an old man. The old man heard that they were hunters' trophies, and he insisted on guarding these things for the hunters to prevent some second-rate people who were blinded by lard from getting mad. Li Chengen thanked the old man for his enthusiasm and gave the wild boar king and the black-tusked wild boar that he had cut in half to the villagers, thanking them for helping him collect the carcasses. Of course, he still kept the most valuable black tooth. Only pork was given to the villagers. People in Anyang village were also shocked when they saw the three-meter-tall and five-meter-long wild boar king. They originally planned to keep Li Chengen and let the most skilled cook in their village cook a pig-killing dish for Li Chengen. But Li Chengen was eager to hand in the task, and ultimately declined, accepting only a large bag of dried mushrooms from village chief Ma. It is said that this is a specialty of Anyang village, which contains all kinds of delicious mushrooms, all produced from various mushroom pigs. Officially, it was because Anyang village had just embarked on the road of getting rich by raising pigs and selling mushrooms, and had not had time to develop the strength of its own beast masters, that the incident of being bullied by the black-tusked wild boar happened. However, it is said that after this crisis, the second favorites of those college students also reached the strength to protect the village in two years. Only then would Anyang village truly gain a foothold here. In this regard, Li Chengen sincerely wishes this group of hospitable villagers. The aircraft pilot looked at Li Chengen, who was drinking tea leisurely at the entrance of the village. There were several village elders chatting with him. I looked in the rearview mirror again at the dark circles under my eyes caused by the exhaustion of running around, and felt a little confused. What happened in the past two hours has changed so much. Li Chengen said goodbye to the reluctant village elders and got on the aircraft. He saw the dark circles under the pilot's eyes that had not been there before. Surprised. Going to maintain the big sword. The driver had a black line on his head. Why did this high school student look like he was more familiar with society than he was? But he still answered honestly. No, before I picked you up, I picked up a troublesome client. That client's pet was a dark type beast. Li Chengen said oh, with an expression that said it would be whatever it was. The driver watched with a sigh of relief. On the way back, the driver asked, Has the problem in Anyang village been solved? Li Chengen was concentrating on flipping through the browsing function of the beast taming badge, and said without raising his head, Well, I also killed the wild boar king by the way. Even if there are remaining black tusked wild boars, they will become much more peaceful in recent years. The pilot didn't believe it. How could a high school student who had just become a beastmaster be capable of killing the extraordinary three-star black-tusked wild boar king? No one understands the huge strength gap between beastmasters better than those who work hard at the bottom of the beastmaster class. The lower level defeats the upper level, and the leapfrog kill only exists in the novels they listen to. Along the way, the two of them were silent. 
Li Chengen returned to the Beast Taming Association and went to the reception desk to submit the task. The beautiful receptionist at the front desk said with a formulaic smile, Well, I have received the confirmation from Anyang Village. Sir, your task has been confirmed to be completed. Do you need any other services? Li Chengen asked, Where are Warcraft corpses and materials sold? The beautiful receptionist glanced behind Li Chengen. There was no package. Out of the corner of her eye, she accidentally touched the ring on the middle finger of Li Chengen's left hand. The smile on his face paused, and his tone suddenly became much more sincere, and he said, Okay, sir. The material processing location is in the warehouse on the first floor. The specific location is. You are welcome to come again next time. Li Chengen walked through the reception hall according to the location mentioned by the receptionist. After walking through a long passage, a closed alloy door appeared in front of him. Swipe your card with the Beast Royal Badge, and with a beep, the alloy door opens automatically, revealing a thin blue protective film behind the door. After Li Chengen passed through the protective film, a strong fishy smell penetrated his nostrils and hit the Tianlin cap. This is so sour, he subconsciously covered his mouth and nose. The scene he saw was similar to a vegetable market selling meat. The environmental conditions here are much worse than those on the hunter's trail. No wonder it needs to be isolated with an array. The smell alone is enough for a person to drink a pot. Arriving at the door of the material processing warehouse, a man wearing a black leather apron sharpened a knife and directed his subordinates to carry things. Li Chengen came to the man and asked, can the corpses of monsters be sold here? The man stopped sharpening the knife, looked at the young man in front of him carefully, and said, yes, that's right. Do you want to sell the corpse of a monster? Um, there are statistics staff over there, you go over there and weigh it. Li Chengen looked at the location pointed by the man, thanked him, and then came to the statistics office. He took out all the black-tusked wild boar carcasses from the space ring and placed them on the scale in front of him. The staff here counted the carcasses of 12 black-tusked wild boars provided by Li Chengen and reported their numbers. Purchased at a price that is 20% lower than the market price, a total of 133,700 Dongguang coins. Do you have any questions? No. Okay, please collect the receipt and go to the cashier over there to withdraw money. Li Chengen shook the bill in his hand and once again sighed at the value of the Beast Master. Oh, no, it's the gold content of a combat type Beast Master. He earned 130,000 yuan in one day, which is easily six figures in a month. This is still the income of a low level Beast Master. Although there are two extraordinary two star black tusked wild boars in it, the 10 one-star wild boars alone can be bought for 80,000 to 90,000 yuan. Ah, I can't imagine what it's like to be a more profitable hunter. In fact, Li Chengen is treated like a hunter now. How can ordinary beast masters single-handedly defeat a herd of black-tusked wild boars? It requires teamwork. Teamwork requires sharing money, as well as post-war medical expenses, etc. How can one person get 130,000? At this time, Someone suddenly said, don't think about it, each pocket is cleaner than the other. Li Chengen was startled and turned to look in the direction of the sound. He was a big man about the same size as Duan Bai. He was also wearing armor. Purple blood still remained on the armor, emitting dark energy. It's a hunter. The moment he saw the big man, Li Chengen was sure of his identity. Before Li Chengen could speak, the big man introduced himself, my name is Wang Shang. As you can see, I am a hunter. I heard about you from my companions, a genius swordsman. Li Chengen scratched his head in embarrassment and said, he's not that talented. It's all thanks to the seniors. Wang Zhang's eyes twitched slightly, and he said helplessly, hunters don't need so many red tapes. Remember to disperse the sword power on your body before being humble next time. The effect will be better. Sword power. Li Chengen lowered his head and scanned his body, and asked, I have already released the blade-breaking strike, why do I still have it? Is it obvious? Wang Zhang's expression was astonished. This young man really wasn't faking his feelings. Didn't Lao Mu teach you the hunter's breathing skills? No, after teaching me the advanced skills of Tai Sword, I was allowed to practice on my own. In front of the trade union hut, Lao Mu held the cigarette rod and smoked, and suddenly sneezed. Ah sneeze. Lao Mu rubbed his nose, 
feeling like someone was talking about him. I really want to forget something, forget it, I don't want to anymore. Wang Shang was speechless and choked. This old man hadn't taught anyone for a long time. He could forget this. So he patiently explained. To an ordinary beast master, the remaining sword power on your body is not obvious, at most it is a little strange. But in front of people with proficient skills or sensitive monsters, your sword will be a bit stinging. It would be really dangerous if you encounter a powerful monster beyond your capabilities while on a mission. Li Chengen understood what Wang Shang meant and asked curiously, are there also powerful monsters in the city? Wang Shang obviously saw Li Chengen's little thoughts and warned, generally speaking, there is no such thing, but there are some exceptions. For example, at the beginning of the Great Catastrophe, it merged into the territory of Dongguang Kingdom and became a powerful existence sleeping in the secret realm. For example, 50 years ago, there was a huge earthquake in Suhei City, S Province. The earthquake was caused by monsters. Li Chengen was shocked, because the impact of this incident was indeed great, directly changing part of the terrain of Province S and the two neighboring provinces. The official statement was that it was an ordinary earthquake, but it was unexpectedly caused by a monster. Wang Shang looked heavy and said in a serious voice, it was caused by an ancient dragon. The Dongguang Scientific Research Bureau detected traces of an unknown ancient dragon underground and named it, Junyuanglong. Li Chengen, is it really appropriate to tell me such a secret? Wang Shang restored his original big brother image and said, Anyway, this matter is not a secret in the hunter circle, so don't worry too much. By the way, what on earth did you encounter to realize such a sharp knife power? Li Chengen pointed to the undissected black tusked wild boar at the back and said, No, black tusked wild boar and wild boar king. Wang Shang was a little surprised, you killed them all. I think your aura is only level 2 beast master. Isn't the black tusked wild boar king an extraordinary 3 star level? Extraordinary 1 to 3 stars correspond to low level beast master levels 1 to 3, and elite 1 to 3 stars also correspond to mid level beast master levels 4 to 6. That's why Wang Shang was a little shocked that Li Chengen, a fledgling student, was able to fight beyond the level. Li Chengen explained The wild boar king was killed by my pet, and I killed the other wild boars. Wang Shang, is there a difference? That's amazing enough. It's really difficult to cut such a rough-skinned monster with an iron knife without runes. Li Chengen scratched his head, huh, I use a wooden knife. Wang Shang was completely silent, wooden sword. His lips trembled, the corners of his eyes twitched a few times, and he said, did you do what Lao Mu said to you? Is that a lie? It was Li Chengen's turn to be shocked. Wang Shang patted Li Chengen on the shoulder angrily, as if remembering some unbearable past event. Listen to my brother's advice, practice as practice. Next time, remember to prepare an iron knife with you, just in case. Then he took a step forward and disappeared without a trace. Li Chengen still wanted to ask something, but when he saw Wang Shang running away, his outstretched hand stood awkwardly in the air. Tisk, why is the little fool running so fast? I won't eat him. An old man appeared next to Li Chengen. His hair was gray and his figure was stronger than most of the young people present. Li Chengen quickly took a few steps back, keeping a distance of 10 meters from the old man. The people around didn't notice anything strange here. The old man said, Little guy, what are you afraid of? I'm not a bad person. Li Chengen, do bad people say they are bad people when they do bad things? The old man sighed and took out a hunter badge with three silver stars engraved on it, proving that the old man was a three-star elite hunter and was stronger than his father. Li Chengen checked according to the number on the hunter's badge. When he confirmed that the old man's appearance was consistent with the hunter's website, he lowered his guard. He apologized to the old man and said, I'm sorry, Mr. Lu Fengmao, I just got emotional. Lu Fengmao waved his hand, telling Li Chengen not to pay attention to this, and said, keep this vigilance, and you will live a long time in the future. Li Chengen asked carefully, why are you here? The three-star elite hunter is a well-known figure even in Z province, let alone in a small place like Hongyan city. His current situation is that he took advantage of the loopholes in the organization's rules, and was watched from beginning to end by the organization's boss. This mood can simply be described as sour and refreshing. Lu Fengmao looked at the frightened young man funny and said the serious matter. Don't worry, I'm not here to pursue you. 
On the contrary, I'm here to surprise you. Lu Fengmao then explained why he was here. Hunter students have come to the Beast Mastering Association to play bugs and complete tasks for a long time. Once upon a time, the hunter students suffered too many casualties, and the upper leaders of the hunter union discovered this. I originally wanted to close this loophole, but was blocked by others. The reason is that the number of hunters is already small. If you do this, you will lose the way to make money and experience in the Beast Mastering Association. Even fewer people are willing to endure the long preparation phase of a hunter to become a hunter. So the hunter guild has another tradition, the old man leads the new man, but this old man will not appear in front of the new man. The purpose is to ensure the effectiveness of the training and the lives of the students. Whenever a student is capable enough and is not qualified to become a trainee hunter, the instructor will promptly bring up the loopholes in this rule. Then there is a high probability that this student will be unable to resist going to the Beast Mastering Association to take on tasks. From this, seniors like Lu Fengmao can take action. Generally, there are two situations in this situation. The student takes on a difficult task, then fails, and the senior comes to the rescue. After that, the lectures will be given, and the students will practice diligently after returning home until they graduate. Either choose a task with moderate or low difficulty, and if you succeed, the old timers will appear, but there will be an extra step to teach you a lesson. After the students return, they will maintain stable habits, but they will not be prohibited from taking on tasks in the future. Everyone is happy. After this tradition came out, the casualty rate of hunter students has indeed been reduced a lot, and the number of graduates has been much higher than before. Li Chengin was protected by Lu Fengmao this time. Another reason was that there was too little fresh blood in Hongyun City. The old people were busy with their work, so elite hunters appeared to protect the students. Generally, this link is performed by hunters with bronze color of four stars or above. Lu Fengmao took out a small notebook and recorded it while saying, You are also sincere. When I asked you to use a wooden knife, you actually used the wooden knife throughout the process. If it weren't for the power of your pet beast, you would have become a swine. Quote. Li Chengen explained cautiously. Actually, I don't want to prepare the iron sword. It won't give me enough pressure. The appearance of the wild boar king is also under my consideration. Mao Mao is his last resort. Lu Feng Mao's pen paused because he recalled Li Chengen's battle and found that this was really the case. You are also a restless master. Forget it, with your current strength, if you don't waste your time, ordinary low-level tasks in the city are really not that difficult. In the future, remember to prepare an iron knife. When you have time, go dig more and collect some plant materials. When you pass the test, you can go directly to Lao Chin to build equipment. This can save a lot of time. Don't worry about the materials for the hunter's initial set. The union will prepare them for you. All you need to do is to directly upgrade the initial armor and weapons to the quality of low-level high-grade talismans when you become a hunter. A low-level high-grade talisman. Lu Fengmao glanced at Li Chengen's expression out of the corner of his eye and thought that he didn't know about the talisman, so he began to explain the talisman patiently. You know that beast masters have equipment. The equipment used by level 1 to 9 beast masters is called talisman. It is divided into three levels, low, middle and high, which correspond to the three levels of beast master realm. Each major level of the talisman is divided into three qualities, lower, middle, and upper, which correspond to the beast masters of each level in each major level. The low-level high-grade talismans correspond to level 3 beast masters. Seeing that Lu Fengmao had some misunderstandings, Li Chengen quickly asked, is there any discount for the equipment produced by the hunter guild? Lu Fengmao wanted to make a long speech, but was stuck by this question, and then looked at Li Chengen with admiration. Not bad, not bad, I can understand the essence of most hunters so quickly. Just poor, the union has subsidized the forge, but don't be too happy. Hunter's equipment is not sold in small pieces like on the market, but a complete set with additional weapons. This is still the basic configuration. If you want to add something else, you have to pay more. So work hard to make money, boy. Oh, by the way, old man, I kindly remind you that all the materials used to build equipment must be hunted or captured by you. Don't think about stealing chickens and buy materials. Keeping this tradition will be good for you in the future. After speaking, 
Liu Fengmao threw a trainee hunter qualification certificate and hunter badge to Li Chang'an and disappeared. Li Chang'an thought about Liu Fengmao's last reminder and returned home. Miu Qingqing had already prepared dinner at this time. According to her, Yao Yao would be able to learn how to make low-level spiritual food in another week. At that time, I can return to Li Chang'an to assist. At this time, in Li's house, there was another person lying on the sofa in the living room, looking like he had ascended to heaven. This person was none other than Li Mingxuan, who had not been home for a long time. Looking at his petrified and cracked appearance, he muttered about deducting his year-end bonus. It seems that he already knows about Yao Yao. When Li Mingxuan noticed Li Chang'an's return, he immediately returned to his stern father's appearance, making Li Chang'an's mouth twitch. Aha! Li Mingxuan coughed and said seriously, I have prepared Yao Yao's evolution ceremony. You need to pay for the specific materials yourself. Oh, seeing Li Chang'an's lackluster reaction, Li Mingxuan couldn't help but said, Did you hear that clearly? You have to pay for the materials. Li Chang'an replied calmly, I know. Li Mingxuan has a colon, huh? Is this the reaction? Aren't you going to say something? Li Chang'an sighed and said, There are too many debts to bear down. Someone has already told me similar things today. Li Mingxuan discovered the blood stains on Li Chang'an's trouser legs and understood immediately. It seems that you have experienced the tradition of a hunter. Have you obtained the apprentice hunter qualification certificate? Got it. Li Mingxuan nodded and commented, Not bad. Students who fail the mission naturally do not have this qualification certificate, but follow the procedures to graduate honestly. Li Chang'an's ability to obtain the trainee hunter qualification certificate means that his mission has been completed. Li Mingxuan added, Remember the words of your predecessors, don't be clever, just keep the tradition, it will be of great benefit. Li Chang'an picked up Yao Yao who was leaning against him, touched her soft hair, and asked, Can I ask why? Li Mingxuan rarely became a riddler, so he said, Do you think elite hunters can break through easily? Just having enough strength is not enough, it requires a higher level of skill. Hunters who maintain traditional traditions have a probability of breaking through to elite hunters of more than 60%, while those who are clever and pursue short-term interests have a probability of breaking through less than 30%. Li Chang'an understood that from the moment he condensed Huang Ren, he deeply realized how important a large amount of actual combat was to hone his skills. There is a big difference between weapon techniques and harmonization techniques. A swordsman master who emerges from blood and fire can easily defeat those swordsman masters who retreat every day. Liu Fengmao's reminder is to let Li Chang'an not be timid and hone his skills in battle. It's that simple. I understand, how much does it cost for Yao Yao to evolve? Li Chang'an asked his father. Li Mingxuan took out a piece of paper and a list and said, read it yourself. Blue sky wood, byway soup, moon-based materials, evolutionary formations, and these auxiliary materials. The more Li Chang'an looked at it, the more frightened he became, comparing it with the prices found on the hunter badges and beast master badges. Yao Yao's complete set of evolution rituals required about 5 million Dongguang coins, which was several times more than when he bought Mao Mao's eggs. Li Mingxuan drank the hot tea and said, Do you need credit? Li Chang'an replied firmly, Yes. The father and son talked about this, and dinner was prepared. Yao Yao's evolution ceremony was scheduled for a week later, and Yao Yao and Miu Qingqing could evolve as soon as they finished learning it. There are no good skills in the skill pool of the Double Leaf Rabbit Clan. Yao Yao's talents are all given by the blood of the Medicine Rabbit, so it is better to evolve into a Medicine Rabbit as soon as possible. The next morning, Li Chang'an brought a box of high-end looking wine from the storage room at home. Most of the things in the storage room were gifts given to Li Mingxuan by others. Li Mingxuan himself didn't care. He picked some to keep and threw away the rest. Li Chang'an thought that it was something his father was willing to keep anyway, so it should be good. So before going out, he took a box of packaged wine and gave it to Lao Mu. Lao Mu touched the wine bottle and said in wonder, where did the good stuff like yuzhu wine that had been stored for 20 years come from? It's in the warehouse at home. Aren't you afraid that your father will beat you? He never drinks because of work requirements. Lao Mu then accepted the gift with confidence and began to teach Li Chang'an's qi containing techniques. Unable to get started, Li Chang'an spent the whole morning before reluctantly getting in. Lao Mu also relaxed, 
I was relieved when I saw you were stuck with the qi condensing technique, ha ha ha. Li Chengen shrugged indifferently and said, I'm just an ordinary person, right? Lao Mu smiled and nodded, because of this, I am relaxed, because it is not all smooth sailing for you, which means that you will not fall into pride and complacency in the future. You and I both understand the principle that an arrogant soldier will be defeated. Li Chengen thanked Lao Mu for being a rare and good mentor, and began to practice advanced Thai sword techniques in front of him in the afternoon. When I first heard that you used a wooden knife to kill the black-tusked wild boar, I didn't believe it. But seeing the sharpness of your knife, I believed it. I have nothing to teach you in this regard. You can just follow your own path. Lao Mu, I am not capable enough, so I will not show my shame. Lao Mu looked at Li Chengen who was wielding the sword with joy, and then said, When you master the condensed yellow blade skillfully, I will teach you the final skills of Taito Ji. You can graduate with air blade burst and blade breaking combo. For other hunting skills, you can go to the guild to redeem them yourself. After leaving Lao Mu, Li Chengen kept practicing his skills at the training ground in the morning, and went to the Beast Mastering Association in the afternoon to pick up some ordinary tasks. Go to the forest to collect, go to the mine to mine, and occasionally take on some hunting missions to enjoy your craft. A week passed like this, and Li Chengen's five million debt was actually paid off by him. The reason was that while he was mining, he accidentally encountered a wave of crystal-backed rats. He escaped after Mao Mao raised his aura to the level of a pure blood dragon. In the process of escaping, Li Chengen killed several crystal rats. The bat crystal rat is an extraordinary one-star monster that lives in mineral veins. It has low strength, but in large numbers, it is also very scary. The most important thing is that the beast master can collect rare ores from the crystal blocks on the back of the crystal rat. Li Chengen was very lucky. Among the crystals carried by one of these crystal-carrying rats, there was an iris crystal the size of an index finger. Iris crystal is not suitable for making equipment, but it is famous for its inner stripes that look like a kite, making it a rare treasure. Li Chengen's piece was sold for 7.35 million, and since then the mine has been overcrowded. On the day when the iris crystal auction ended, the crystal rat tide was solved by a large number of beast masters who came over in a spitting manner. For this reason, Li Chengen was rewarded with 10 points from the Beast Mastering Association. The status of this point is similar to the merits of the Hunter Guild. Today, after paying off their debts, Li Chengen and Mao Mao looked excitedly at the appearance of their yard. Because Yao Yao is going to evolve tonight. The reason why Mao Mao is happy is because Li Chengen is very busy recently. He lives by eating volcanic rocks and fire crystals. Although the nutrition was sufficient, Mao Mao, who was used to eating spiritual food, found it difficult to swallow. It can only be said that even Ji Yu Long has a bad habit of transitioning from extravagance to frugality. As for Yao Yao's evolution, she is not far from the day when she will be free from the lava set meal. How can she not be excited? Li Mingxuan came back specially to arrange the scene. Although there was a little love for his son in it, it was not much. Li Chengen felt that what this guy wanted more was first-hand information about the medicine rabbit. According to Ms. Mu Qingqing's exposure, Comrade Lao Li once applied for research on medicine rabbits when he was young, but unfortunately he was rejected due to insufficient authority. It became a thorn in Comrade Li's heart. Now that he has this opportunity, how could he not come? After the clouds in front of the moon were dispersed by Comrade Li's red flame flying dragon, the evolution officially began. Yao Yao stood in the middle of the evolution formation. There were three main materials in front of her, which were blue sky wood the size of a primary school student's arm, a bowl of colorful byway soup, and a drop of moon crystal like a teardrop. Blue sky wood is a precious spiritual plant that is useful for many wood type pets. It mostly grows near the medicine making rabbit group. Occasionally, blue sky trees will appear in other environments. Byway soup is a kind of concoction, and most of the long list of auxiliary ingredients on the list are for the blending of byway soup. The moon drop crystal is the solidification of lunar energy, which is condensed by special lunar beasts. The original moon drop is a top level healing skill, and one drop is enough to turn serious injuries into a non injury state. After processing moon drops in a special way, solid moon drops can be obtained. This is also the most expensive part of the 5 million, and even the blue sky wood cannot compare with it. 
because Moondrop is a super level skill, and it is an extremely rare moon type healing super level skill. A Moondrop crystal represents an overlord level pet beast that surpasses the king level. Being able to get this thing all depends on the authority and internal preferential treatment of Deputy Director Li Ming Xuan. Here, I sincerely thank Deputy Director Li Ming Xuan for his generous sponsorship. Li Chengen followed the process given by Li Ming Xuan and activated the evolutionary formation under Yao Yao. The moonlight in the sky was pulled down and turned into a misty white mist, shrouding Yao Yao. Guji, it's so cold and painful. Yao Yao's cry of pain came through the soul communication, and Li Chengen quickly passed the soul contract to cheer for Yao Yao. Hold it, Yao Yao, absorb all the moonlight. This is the key to evolution. Meow, meow, come on, come on. Mao Mao was also cheering for Yao Yao. Yao Yao should be the first double leaf rabbit blessed by the ancient dragon. When Yao Yao heard the encouragement from her master and companions, the perseverance in her heart emerged again, and she resisted the soul piercing chill and absorbed it. When Yao Yao's white hair was covered with the light of the moonlight, Li Chengen shouted at the right time, Use Qingtian wood. Yao Yao opened her eyes grabbed the green wooden branch, and placed it on her chest. The breath of moonlight followed Yao Yao's little paws and merged into the blue sky wood. Immediately, most of the chill in Yao Yao's body was reduced, but the increase in moonlight affinity brought about by the moonlight infusion cannot be taken away. This is why Li Chengen wants Yao Yao to endure it. When the milky white moonlight completely soaked into the blue sky wood and connected with the remaining moonlight in Yao Yao's body, Li Chengen shouted again, Drink the byway soup. Yao Yao resisted the smell of the bursting flavor soup and drank it. Guji, I would rather have a moonlight injection. Complaining means that Yao Yao is in good condition. However, it is indeed a bit difficult for Yao Yao, who has a sensitive sense of taste, to drink the byway soup. Because byway soup, as its name suggests, you can really taste hundreds of flavors. Of course, this is only for pets with a sensitive sense of taste. After drinking the byway soup, the more flavors they can distinguish, the more sensitivity of Yao Yao's five senses will be improved after evolving. Yao Yao also knew this, resisting the nausea that kept rising in her body, and kept identifying the taste. When the colorful colors on Yao Yao's body fade away, it means that the effectiveness of the byway soup has disappeared, leaving only the majestic energy. Li Chengen turned on the evolutionary formation to the maximum setting, and more intense moonlight gathered. Yao Yao doesn't have to endure it anymore, evolve. After hearing Li Chengen's permission, Yao Yao let go of the power bound in her body. An invisible mysterious force was pulled out from Yao Yao's body and wrapped around Yao Yao. Suddenly, Yao Yao heard a harsh wail. Guji, Guji, it hurts so much. My whole body hurts. It feels like the blood is going to explode. Li Chengen clenched his fists, suppressed the worries in his heart, and kept comforting Yao Yao through the soul communication. Yao Yao screamed for a long time, and in an instant, the wailing sound in Li Chengen's ears disappeared. Yao Yao lost consciousness. At this time, the moon drop crystal placed in front of Yao Yao began to melt, turning into the original moonlight and merging into Yao Yao's body. Like the goddess of the moon coming to earth, she gently caressed Yao Yao's broken soul and body. It's the final stage. Don't worry, Yao Yao will be fine. Li Mingxuan comforted her. Li Chengen also knows that this is all they can do, and the rest depends on Yao Yao's own luck. The evolution of pet beasts is so cruel. The greater the potential for evolutionary leaps, the greater the risks and costs that need to be borne. Yao Yao's leap from a low-level elite to leading the medicine rabbits with medium potential is still related to the mythical race, and the risks she has to bear are far beyond imagination. The moon drop crystal is a backup prepared for Yao Yao. Now it seems that this valuable crystal has indeed exerted its greatest use. After Li Chengen was restless for an hour, a crack appeared in the milky white light cocoon that Yao Yao transformed into. Then the crack grew bigger and bigger, and there were many small cracks around it. Click, click, the milky white light cocoon was mostly broken open, revealing a rabbit head covered by the moonlight. In an instant, a silvery white moonlight fell from the sky and landed on Yao Yao's head. The milky white light cocoon was completely shattered, revealing the pure white body underneath. At this time, Yao Yao's hair is all white, and her limbs are no longer green. 
The two front paws are marked with tree rings, and the two green leaf-shaped ears turn into a pair of moonlight streamers, which are the characteristics of the medicine rabbit. And there is a faint mark of the waning moon on his forehead, which is really beautiful. Li Chengin and Mao Mao immediately rushed forward. Li Chengin hugged Yao Yao tightly, while Mao Mao curiously touched the pendant on Yao Yao's rabbit ear. This pendant is made of the arm-sized piece of blue sky wood. Yao Yao's already red glasses became even redder with the tears of excitement. Guji, Guji, Cheng An, thank you. It's really great to meet you. Yao Yao buried her head in Li Chengin's chest and breathed in his breath. Mu Qingqing, who was watching, also expressed emotion on her face. What kind of magic power did her son have that could make two pet beasts stick to him like this? Is there a second talent similar to affinity with living beings? Ms. Mu Qingqing almost caught the point. After the two pets calmed down, Li Mingxuan came on stage and carefully checked Yao Yao's physical condition. Originally, he wanted to check Mao Mao, but Mao Mao cleverly returned to the beast controlling space and did not give Comrade Li a chance at all. After Li Mingxuan checked Yao Yao, he said with satisfaction, Yao Yao is fine. All the data are very healthy, almost the same as those in the Dongguang National Database. Hearing this, Li Chengin put his heart into his stomach and began to check Yao Yao's information changes. Name, Yao Yao. Race, Poison Rabbit. Attributes, Wood, Moon. Level, Awakening Stage. Potential, Lead Higher Level. Talents, Moon People, Herb Hammer. Low Level Skill, Moonlight Condensation, Master Level. Intermediate Skills, Thousand Flowers Contact Level, Double Blades of the Moon, Proficiency Level, Blessing of Grass, Proficiency Level. Status. Touched and attached to the owner. There are two more new skills and one mutation skill, and the attributes have also become dual attributes of wood and moon. Not to mention talent, both transformed. Moonlight condensation, this skill seems to be a low-level skill, but in fact, for moon beasts, its status is no less than the hell flame skill of the hell flame dragon. They are all important cornerstones of the core system. Thousand flowers, this skill is a wood skill. It releases a large number of energy petals to attack the enemy, with a chance of causing chaos to the enemy. Double Blades of the Moon This skill is a mutation of the leaf blade, and its attributes are changed from wood to two energy attacks that are a mixture of wood and moon. The potential is extraordinary, and the proficiency is on par with the leaf blade. Needless to say, Blessing of Green Grass It is worth mentioning that due to this evolution, its skill proficiency has increased by one level, reaching the master level. The effect of the talent Moon People is very simple. Increase the affinity of Moonlight by 50% and increase the power of Moon skills by 20%. It is a versatile talent that combines training and combat. Judging from the effect of the talent Herb Hammer, it should be an advanced version of pharmaceutical. Its effect is even greater than pounding medicine, increases the success rate of blending by 25%, and has a 1% probability of sublimating the quality of the blend. The more complex the blend, the higher the probability of sublimation. An increase of one-fourth in the success rate is enough to make most blenders envious. Not to mention the subsequent sublimation properties and the extra suffix. The more complex the blend, the higher the probability of sublimation. Li Chengin has confirmed that this is a blender talent that becomes more powerful as it reaches the later stages. Forget it, I'll let go of the skills first. Li Chengin was a little excited. Flies rubbing hands. JPG. Yao Yao has evolved. Let's start to advance to the extraordinary level while most of the moonlight is still there. The moonlight was like mist, covering up the indifference of the night and raising a thin milky white sky over the courtyard. Under the sky, a white and cute little rabbit is concentrating, and the moonlight is constantly condensing around it. It adds a layer of heaviness to this sky. When the couple Mu Qingqing and Li Mingxuan saw Li Chengin sitting cross-legged and meditating, and Yao Yao using the skill Moonlight Condensation, they already understood everything. This kid really knows how to find opportunities. But this idea is quite right, isn't it? Mu Qingqing sighed, took out a relatively thick life crystal fragment from the space ring, and placed it between Yao Yao and Li Chengin. I just hope Xiaoan remembers not to do whatever comes to mind, but to be prepared for everything. Seeing the addition of life crystal fragments, Li Chengin smiled at his mother and took out a few wood crystals and a bottle of Qingyu Lingblu bought at a huge sum of money. Mu Qingqing, if your child is dead, don't tell him early if you are prepared. 
Li Chengen. This bottle of Qingyu Linglu cost him nearly 1 million Dongguang coins, and this was a preferential price after the Hunter Guild gave the students a discount. If Li Chengen hadn't made a fortune some time ago, he would have been reluctant to buy this extremely expensive bottle of low-level moon resources. There is only 1.87 million left in the small treasury. Coupled with Mao Mao's big appetite and Yao Yao's diet, this little money is really nothing. Miu Qingqing did not take back the fragment, and quietly watched her son guide Yao Yao to the opportunity to break through. As the concentration of moonlight reaches a critical point, it's now. Yao Yao no longer controls the skill of Yuehua condensation, and tries her best to break through her own limits. Guji. Oh, the power is pouring in from afar. Li Chengen took the opportunity to open the wood crystals and Qingyu spiritual dew and place them in front of Yao Yao. Yao Yao's wisdom is very high, and she can even surpass Mao Mao now in terms of coordination. It immediately understood and actively absorbed the moon energy from the wood crystals and Qingyu spiritual dew. Soon the light green low-level wood crystals turned into gray, and the moonlight rippling in the clear moon dew gradually dimmed. The moonlight around Yao Yao suddenly closed and released, and an extraordinary aura filled the air. At this moment, the life crystal fragments that had been silent seemed to be pulled by something, and the blockade on the life energy was released. Li Chengen was shocked. If the life crystal fragment was allowed to continue like this, the fragment would be in vain. Yao Yao and Mao Mao began to absorb the escaped life energy at the same time. Mao Mao basically maintains its original shape in the beast control space. It raises its head and roars. Ho, Cheng An, I'm about to break through. Li Chengen. However, there were some unexpected emotions mixed with it. These days of beast control association missions allowed Li Chengen to thoroughly understand the specific effects of the function on the third page of the hunting notebook. Chaotic blood feast s gluttony eats all inedible things and returns to its origins. This means that whenever Li Chengen cannot obtain attribute points or skill stones. In short, when the gold coins are not exploded, that part of the life energy will be purified into the original state by the hunting notes. It should have been absorbed by Li Chengen, but for some reason. Li Chengen also figured out that when he defeated the hunting note mark, Mao Mao also had to do it. In other words, his half of the imprint contains Mao Mao's shares. It's not difficult to understand if you think about it this way. This is why Mao Mao can cut off excess life energy. He did not object to this. After all, only Mao Mao could ignore the influence of the hunting notes. Now he did not dare to use the life energy purified from the hunting notes. Li Chengen has gained a few points of stamina and a low-level skill stone hammer these days, and the rest has been absorbed by Mao Mao. This is why not long after Mao Mao broke through to extraordinary one star, he was about to advance again. Even the ancient dragon should be exhausted after eating so many life sources of extraordinary monsters. The energy of this life crystal fragment turned into two streams, flowing into the eyebrows of Yao Yao and Li Chengen respectively. Suddenly, Yao Yao's originally stable aura surged again, but her state did not change much. Li Chengen received feedback from Yao Yao. His mental power increased significantly and his sensory sensitivity also increased at an alarming rate. As for the magic power, Yao Yao's feedback of this wave of magic power saved about half a month of practice. Obviously, Yao Yao is not specialized in magic power. The increase in magic power provided to him cannot be said to be absent, but not very obvious. In terms of spell power, it also depends on the ancient dragon Mao Mao. Fortunately, Yao Yao's feedback on mental power was extremely gratifying. After this wave of improvement, Li Chengen felt that his mental power had reached at least 40 talisman, reaching the level of a level 4 beast master. Some people are still at level 2, and their mental power has reached the level of mid-level beast masters. It can only be that this fate is really wonderful. It was almost over for Yao Yao. Seeing this, Mao Mao no longer restrained himself and swallowed up all the remaining life energy in one breath. The fragments provided by Mu Qingqing may have turned into fly ash on the spot, floating in the air. Immediately, Mao Mao's body shape began to change. From one and a half meters long, the body length began to increase sharply, to two meters, two meters three, two meters and five. It continued to grow to three meters before slowly stopping. Eventually it grew to a length of 3.2 meters and a height of 1.5 meters. 
This wave of advanced life energy replaced the nutrients needed for its growth, and the remaining moonlight was purified into pure energy and poured into Mau Mau's body. Due to the improvement of his realm, the aura in Mau Mau's eyes became brighter and brighter, his level of wisdom became higher, and more inherited memories were unlocked. It contains the basic fighting skills of the Hell Flame Dragon Clan. It can be said that the ancient Dragon Clan all upgrade while lying down, and when they get up, they become experienced combat masters. No one needs to be taught at all. Pure blood dragons are very similar to ancient dragons in this respect, but the improvement is much smaller than that of ancient dragons. As soon as Mau Mau was promoted, most of Li Chengen's extra 1,000 cubic meters of magic space was filled in an instant. It was originally expected to take one and a half years to break through to level 3 Beast Master, but it was abruptly shortened to less than half a year. Li Chengen even wondered if he was contracting an ancient dragon, so he wouldn't have to worry about too much space to control the beast. Then he laughed at himself, why are ancient dragon eggs so easy to meet? Even the cubs are under the care of adult ancient dragons. He can seduce cubs, but he cannot seduce an adult ancient dragon with super high intelligence. What are you thinking? After Mao Mao made the breakthrough, she was in high spirits, but when she saw that Li Chengen's beast controlling space had not changed much, her face dropped again. Meow, Cheng An, sometimes I think you are more perverted than Ji Yu Long. This doesn't even fill up your beast control space. It's simply outrageous. Li Chengen heard Mao Mao's complaints and said with a wry smile, what can I do? It happened like this by chance. If you do it again, you will probably be fine. Is there another me? There was a flash of light in Mao Mao's eyes. The couple who were protecting the law were a little confused when they saw their son's aura rising sharply. Li Mingxuan seemed to have thought of something and asked tentatively, Mao Mao has also advanced. Li Chengen nodded and summoned Mao Mao in kitten state. The familiar intimidating aura made the deputy director of the Institute of Ecology frown. It was true that he had been promoted to extraordinary two stars, but he remembered that Mao Mao had just been promoted to extraordinary level some time ago. So he asked again, did you use anything to stimulate Mao Mao's growth? He was afraid that his son would destroy this gifted beast in his eagerness for quick success. Li Chengen quickly understood the meaning of his father's words. After thinking about it for a while, he decided to tell his parents the truth. Anyway, with the passive function of chaotic blood feast Mao Mao's abnormal progress speed will be discovered sooner or later. It's better to tell the truth about this passive ability to your parents and hide the existence of the hunting notes. Li Chengen considered it. Mao Mao has awakened an ability. After killing an enemy, he can absorb the enemy's life energy and use it for his own use. This time it was Mu Qingqing's turn to question the life energy of other pet animals. Impossible. Mao Mao's aura is very pure. It doesn't seem like he has absorbed mixed life energy. Li Chengen pointed to Mao Mao's chest and said, This is Mao Mao's talent. You can use Hell Flame and talent to purify life energy. Sometimes I will be a little bit moistened. Perfect. It is true that the ability is improved, it is true that the energy is purified, and it is true that one can occasionally be improved, but the source of this ability is false. This wave of rhetoric not only removed the hunting notes, but also inoculated himself against possible rapid improvement in the future. Li Mingxuan stepped forward and used a simple instrument to detect the mane on Mao Mao's chest. The explosive value on the instrument made this knowledgeable scholar's eyelids twitch. Unusual energy transformations were indeed detected. Li Mingxuan's words undoubtedly supported Li Chengen's remarks, and Mu Qingqing also breathed a sigh of relief for fear that her son would do something stupid and destroy the Great Wall. Fortunately nothing happened. Li Mingxuan put away his things and marveled at Mao Mao. Mao Mao actually has this kind of ability, a spiritual talent that improves skills, plus Mao Mao's ability to improve himself through hunting, so you are really on the right path to become a hunter. Li Mingxuan sighed, and suddenly thought of something again, and asked, does the energy Mao Mao gave you have any impact on you? He is no longer worried about Mao Mao, but worried about Li Chengen. Li Chengen and Mao Mao looked at each other and exchanged ideas. Then he raised his index finger, the dark red firelight on his body flickered, and a ray of hell flame swayed quietly on the fingertip. Li Mingxuan and Mu Qingqing were stunned. They saw a ghost and the beasts resonated. Isn't this a skill that only mid-level beastmasters can do? Historically, 
even if there were geniuses who could achieve this as a low-level beast master, they could only achieve it at the level of a third-level beast master. Now Li Chengden has only been practicing for a long time. He is a level 2 beast master, but he is still far away from level 3. How can this be? No, Li Mingxuan's mind was running fast, it was still possible. There are no more than three rigid conditions for beast control resonance, intimacy, spell power capacity and compatibility. You can tell by looking at the usual state of Mao Mao and his son. The intimacy is not low. There is also his 500 cubic meters of beast control space. After reaching level 2, it will probably be 700 to 800 cubic meters, which is larger than most mid-level beast control masters. Don't worry about the power of the spell, plus. My boy accidentally matches the ancient dragon bloodline. Li Mingxuan thought of the conversation he had with his teacher when he was young, and said to Li Chengen with a serious face, before you advance to the fourth level of Beast Master, don't expose your Beast Master resonance in the future. Even if I have to use the Beast Controlling Resonance, I will kill Mao Mao without ancient dragon blood. Do you understand? Li Chengen was also frightened by Li Mingxuan's appearance. He rarely saw Li Mingxuan's expression and tone in his memory. Can I ask why? Li Mingxuan responded calmly, Sorry, you don't have enough authority. Li Chengen's right eyelid twitched. It seemed like it was a big deal, so he agreed, I understand. After the two of them finished chatting, Yao Yao couldn't help but said, Guji. Cheng An, I have awakened another high-level skill. Um, Li Chengen's eyes widened, high-level skills. You must know that Mao Mao currently only has two skills of this level. Unexpectedly, Yao Yao could have one after absorbing that life energy. Li Chengen immediately checked Yao Yao's information. Wooden puppet. High level skill, wood puppet, summons a green wood puppet. Then it was gone. This was the first time Li Chengen saw this extremely irresponsible explanation of skills. In line with the principle of asking parents when he was in trouble, he asked Mu Qingqing, the master of reconciliation. Mom, what is the skill of wooden puppet? Mu Qingqing was about to go back to take care of her skin, but she immediately stopped. She turned to look at Li Chengen, her mouth twitched and said, Son, you don't want to tell me that Yao Yao has awakened this skill, do you? Yes, just now. Li Chengen seemed to see the sound of broken glass coming from Mu Qingqing's body, and a ghost came out of the petrified Mu Qingqing's mouth. This normally dignified and beautiful mother was a little collapsed at this moment. Why, why can't I raise a pet beast with a wooden puppet with hundreds of millions of resources, but my son succeeded with only one fragment? Why? Mu Qingqing's resentment almost filled the faces of father and son. Li Chengen looked at Li Mingxuan, a scholar whose husband doubled as a father, and explained, Can Yao Yao's new skill summon a green wood puppet? That's right. That's it. This skill is not an output skill, but an extremely rare and top-quality resource-based skill. It can also be upgraded to a top-level or super-level skill. Li Mingxuan talked eloquently. Aoki Puppet can plant the wood resources that the pet beast has analyzed on its body, and can harvest the resources every once in a while. The pet beast only needs to replenish its life energy regularly. After saying this, Li Chengen understood that just like the Qingtian wood used for Yao Yao's evolution, now it only needs to summon the Qingtian wood puppet to cultivate a brand new Qingtian wood. Still alive. Thinking of this, Li Chengen asked Yao Yao in his arms, Can Qingyu Linglu be planted? Yao Yao's answer is yes, not only that, it can also plant any low-level wood and moon resources. Li Chengen was very excited because he knew that Yao Yao could be self-sufficient with this skill alone. And he only needs to consider Mao Mao's expenses. Li Mingxuan also learned about the changes in Yao Yao's skills from his son. Can it even produce lunar resources? This may be related to the mark between its eyebrows. Li Mingxuan pointed his finger at the mark of the waning moon on Yao Yao's eyebrows and said, Generally, the mark on Yao Yao's eyebrows is also the mark of blue sky wood, but Yao Yao's mark is the waning moon. This is probably the cause of the mutation. Smash it. Li Mingxuan rubbed his hands with a flattering look on his face. Look, Yao Yao. Li Chengen sneered and refused directly, no way. Li Mingxuan's body bent forward in frustration and fell to the ground. After hearing that Yao Yao could still grow moon resources, Mu Qingqing turned to ashes. In order to prevent his parents from going berserk again, Li Chengen hugged Yao Yao and fled the scene. After returning to the room, 
He locked the door. Summon the excited Mao Mao to meet your friends. Mao Mao and Yao Yao chatted happily, while Li Chengen started today's evening repair. Take the time to practice. If you break through a few techniques of Tai Sword a few times, you may be able to break through to level 3 Beast Master before school starts. The next morning, Li Chengen got up early, without even eating breakfast, and ran all the way to the Hunter Guild. I bought basic spiritual food mixing tools at the logistics office, as well as ingredients for the two pets' rations. Mao Mao has been looking forward to this day for a long time. Fortunately, Mu Qingqing gave Yao Yao a space ring before, and all these things were put into its space ring. Due to Yao Yao's breakthrough to the extraordinary level, Li Chengen's beast control space has a bit more moonlight, so he can mix spiritual food in it. So most of the time, Yao Yao concentrated on reconciling in the beast control space, which was also something she liked to see. Fighting or something like that is really not suitable for Miss Yao Yao. On the training ground, Yao Yao, use the double blades of the moon. Yao Yao is messy in the wind. Doesn't it mean that fighting is not suitable for me? What's happening here? Sensing that the frost impact from the pet beast on the opposite side was about to hit, Yao Yao could only kick her legs and dodge the attack at an extremely fast speed. Dark green energy blades quickly condensed on the ears that turned into moonlight streamers, and milky white moonlight energy shone on them. Six consecutive energy blades exploded in front of the opposite ice bear in one second. The mixed energy of wood and moon elements made the ice bear with good defense suffer in agony. The contact level double blade of the moon can strike two swords per second, the master level sword can strike four swords per second, and Yao Yao's skill is proficient level, reaching the level of six swords per second. This is why Li Chengen felt that this skill had good potential before. When it reaches the perfection level, it is 10 swords per second. This number alone is enough to suppress the opponent's attack. Typical turret flow skills. If it reaches the dominance level, Li Chengen can't help but feel a little moved in his heart. Maybe the number of sharp blades that Yao Yao can shoot in one second will increase horribly. Although the speed of the ice spiked bear is not low, Yao Yao's attacks are faster. The ice spiked bear that has suffered enough damage will probably lose half of its life if it takes another double blade of the moon. The hunter on the opposite side also saw this and quickly admitted defeat and took back the ice spiked bear. Before leaving, he sighed and said, My dear, are you sure this little rabbit was received from the research institute? This is too violent. This hunter is a dual blade wielder and follows the attribute stream. This newly cultivated ice spiked bear is used to fill in the gaps in his ice attributes. The reason for this competition was that Yao Yao, who was here for the first time, wanted to see what the hunter guild looked like, but unlike Mao Mao, who fit Li Chengen perfectly, she couldn't use soul vision synchronization. So Yao Yao could only come out and visit the hunter guild while squatting on Li Chengen's shoulder. It happened that he was seen by a hunter who had pointed out Li Chengen, and he made a contract with a new pet beast, so this competition began. Li Chengen gently rubbed Yao Yao's moonlight ribbon ears and praised it constantly. Well, our Miss Yao Yao is really amazing. She won the first battle and was crushed. She looks like a future queen. Yao Yao narrowed her eyes and was immersed in the master's massage techniques and free flattery. A thought came to mind, maybe my fighting talent is really good. Yao Yao, who then returned to the beast controlling space, challenged Mao Mao to a sparring match, but Mao Mao raised her paw in confusion and pressed her down, suppressing her on the spot. So far, our Miss Yao Yao has never mentioned her fighting talent. It is not without benefits to compete with hunters to learn how to fight pet beasts. In addition to the lack of experience in pet beast battles, the biggest advantage of Li Chengen is the bright crystal the size of a pigeon egg in his hand. With this crystal, Li Chengen's weapons can easily reach the quality of low-level and high-grade talismans. By the way, the hunter's pet beast battle command is really a file. Li Chengen felt that any high school student in Hongyun number, one middle school could crush the hunter just now in the command battle. Of course, this is also related to the fact that hunters put all their energy into the training of skills and self-improvement. After that, Li Chengen immersed himself in Thai sword techniques and mantra training. Another week passed like this, and most of July during the summer vacation had passed. After this period of accumulation, Li Chengen has been able to master the condensed yellow blade proficiently, and by the way, he has upgraded the last advanced technique, blade-breaking strike, to the realm of Mingyi. 
The direction Li Chang'an chose in Breaking Blade Strike was to increase the upper limit of power, which is a very common and extraordinary understanding. Since he has chosen the power of the sword to cut everything off, he cannot lag behind in terms of strength. Improving the damage of the blade breaking strike has become his first choice. I can make countless mistakes playing the main game, but if you make one mistake, you will be beaten. Coupled with the effect of Shadow of Hell double strike, this will make Li Chengen's flat A and burst particularly terrifying. Mao Mao didn't change much during this period. Gulong's life cycle is too long, so it's reasonable for him to make little progress in such a short period of time. Besides, Li Chengen didn't take many hunting missions during this period, and was all working hard to collect materials for making equipment. No matter how good the hunter is, he still needs a pickaxe to dig for ore when he is a newbie. Yao Yao's side has changed a lot. I don't know if it was because of the previous stimulation, but the little guy works extra hard every night when condensing the moonlight. In just one week, the proficiency of the low-level skill moonlight condensation has reached the proficiency level. Thanks to these moonlights, Mao Mao and Li Chengen slept very well during this period, and the fatigue caused by Mao Mao's continuous promotion was swept away. Today is the time for Li Chengen to learn the last two skills of Tai Sword from Lao Mu. Look carefully, this is an air blade explosion. Lao Mu's aura suddenly exploded, and the wooden knife glowing with red light easily cut open the wooden stake wrapped in animal skin. The red light on the blade disappeared completely, and even the white blade could not maintain it. This is the explosion of the air blade, which will blow out all the power of the blade and cause high damage. Lao Mu once again gathered strength, condensed the yellow blade, and then cut multiple scratches on another wooden stake, and the sword fell to the white blade. This is the blade breaking combo. A blade breaking strike causes multiple damage. The power of each slash will not be reduced compared to the previous one. Seeing Li Chengen's fiery eyes, Lao Mu laughed and said, Isn't it surprising? The air blade slash that has been accumulating the power of the sword will eventually evolve into an unparalleled explosive slash. The previous blade breaking strike, which used the power of the sword to increase the attack, ended up conserving the power of the sword. This is indeed what Li Chengen thinks. The subsequent derivation of these two techniques is really dramatic. Lao Mu laughed again and said, This is the charm of techniques. Anything can happen. Maybe you can create a harmless air blade burst in the future. Facing Lao Emu's words, Li Chengen smiled bitterly to himself. What state was he in now? He didn't think about things so long ago. It's easy to aim too high, but now it's better to keep your feet on the ground. Set a small goal and strive to improve the basic skills of Tai Sword to the realm of seeing gods before the hunter assessment. It would be better if he could master the condensation of the red blade. Li Chengen shook off the distracting thoughts in his mind and focused on practicing the air blade burst and the broken blade combo. Seeing this, Lao Mu smiled happily. Everyone would dream of lofty goals, but not many people could stick to down-to-earth actions. Li Chengen was able to establish himself so quickly, which made him very relieved. He is a piece of diamond in the rough. I hope that the higher-ups in the union will notice this kid sooner rather than later, so that his talent will not be wasted in time. At Hongyan City Airport, a bird-like biological aircraft landed. Li Mingxuan and Mu Qingqing, one holding a sign and the other holding a bunch of flowers, were waiting at the passenger exit of the airport. A woman wearing a black velvet coat and sunglasses came out. The upper half of this woman's face was half covered by her pink-purple hair, but her stunning beauty could still be seen. She wore a white shirt on her upper body with the buttons on her chest straining to stretch, and black trousers on her lower body that tightly wrapped her plump buttocks. The powerful soles of her feet were stepping on a pair of black high-heeled shoes with red soles. As she walked, the gap between her trouser legs and the high-heeled shoes occasionally appeared, revealing a trace of mysterious black silk. Li Mingxuan saw this woman who was dressed extremely hot from a distance, but her clothes did not match the season. He quickly shook the sign in his hand, trying to attract the woman's attention. Perhaps Li Mingxuan's actions had an effect, the woman in sunglasses seemed to glance in his direction. When the woman in sunglasses walked out of the passenger exit, she enthusiastically hugged Mu Qingqing, who was holding flowers. The valuable flowers were squeezed flat by the two peaks. Qingqing, I miss you so much. Mu Qingqing gave a wry smile, 
patted the mountain behind the woman in sunglasses, and said, Stop it, I know you are a high star elite hunter and you are so strong that I can hardly breathe. The woman in sunglasses muttered dissatisfiedly, What do you mean by a high star elite hunter? Call me the future master hunter. A nostalgic smile appeared on Mu Qingqing's face. She still looks like this after so many years. At this time, Li Mingxuan interrupted, Senior Sister Kong. The woman named Kong pretended to have just seen Li Mingxuan and exclaimed, Isn't this my little junior brother I haven't seen for a long time? Li Mingxuan, this yin and yang face has not been seen for a long time. The three of them exchanged pleasantries, and then Senior Sister Kong asked, If you call me here so early, it must not be something you should study, little junior brother. Li Mingxuan nodded, and Mu Qingqing said on his behalf, It's about my son. This time, senior sister Kong really remembered that Mu Qingqing and her junior brother had a son. Oh, oh, his name is Li Chang'an. I even hugged him when he was just born. Speaking of Qingqing, why don't you and your junior brother have more children? Few of our disciples get married, and the master has no children. He still hopes to have more disciples and grandchildren. Hearing these words, a rare blush appeared on Mu Qingqing's face, as well as a hint of regret. When I was young and energetic, I was dazzled by the name of the genius, and my breakthrough was a little faster. When I realized it, Ming Xuan and I only had one child, Chang An. Kong Siwei also had a look of regret on his face. When the Beast Master broke through to the king level, his life was transformed and his lifespan was greatly extended. But what followed was special treatment beyond that of king-level monsters, and the fertility rate dropped significantly. Therefore, Dongguang Kingdom reminds all high-level beast masters every year to get married and have children before making breakthroughs to avoid regrets in the future. Mu Qingqing and his wife are lucky to have Li Chang'an. Some of the pioneering sages who have lived from the great catastrophe to the present are feeling uncomfortable. The representative among them is the teacher of Li Mingxuan and others. But Mu Qingqing and Li Mingxuan are both king-level beast masters, so the pregnancy rate is even lower. The possibility of a successful second child is very low unless you get those sought-after life resources. Otherwise, there is no chance. Mu Qingqing changed the subject and continued. This time I called Wei Wei in advance for the sake of Chang An. Let me tell you, Chang An is already a hunter student. Senior sister Kong raised her eyebrows and asked, You want me to be a child's hunter teacher? Right, as little Chang'an's talent very poor. Can't the hunter guild instructor here teach him? No, on the contrary, Xiao An's talent is so good that I just received news that the mentor of the hunter guild has nothing to teach him. Mu Qingqing handed Li Chang'an's information to senior sister Kong in due course. Senior sister Kong took the information, read it over, and couldn't help but uttered a curse word, outrageous, opened the door for outrageous, it's outrageous. Why didn't you and your junior brother have more children back then? Although we, senior brothers and sisters, are not many, it is more than enough for each of us to teach one. Mu Qingqing's face was stiff. She felt like she was about to evolve into a fertility machine. She had a bad feeling that if this matter came to the ears of teacher Li Mingxuan, with his character, he might not really want to spend huge sums of money to buy the resources that breed life. Then Li Mingxuan transformed into a pile driver and contributed to the country's future. Li Mingxuan also had the same idea as his wife, so he quickly stopped the topic and said, Ahem, senior sister, that's it. We would like to ask you to teach Xiao and for a while. Senior sister Kong waved her hand and acknowledged the matter. That kid is in the union, just take me to him. Li Mingxuan and Mu Qingqing looked at each other and breathed a sigh of relief, finally stopping the topic. As for teacher Li Mingxuan's temper, just compare it with senior sister Kong. Senior sister Kong was the disciple that the hunter took in before she retired, and she had the most similar temperament. And Li Mingxuan was the disciple he took in during his time at university to cultivate his character after retirement. The style of conduct is still different from that of senior sister Kong. A sly look flashed in the eyes of senior sister Kong who was walking in front. Hum hum, young man, Tell the old man when you return to the hotel, junior brother, you and Ching Ching should work harder. In the Hunter Guild, Li Chang'an was immersed in practicing air blade bursts and blade breaking combos. As you learn all the basic techniques of Tato Ji, 
from the initial slash, to the air blade slash, the broken blade attack, to the air blade burst and the broken blade combo. All techniques are twisted into a rope and connected in series. Because of this, his spirit surged like a spring at this moment, and the wooden sword in his hand was no longer limited to the process of accumulating and releasing the sword's power. Use broken blade strikes and air blade slashes at will. Even if there is no sword force, you will still use broken blade combos or air blade bursts. Li Chengen's movements were a little funny at first, but as he swung the wooden sword, each move gradually became very charming, as if he was gestating something. The three people who came here specifically to look for Li Chengen happened to see this scene. The leading woman stopped the other two people from moving and watched with interest. Li Chengen didn't notice the person coming next to him, and was immersed in the insights brought by his talent. The wooden knife in his hand became more and more powerful, and each knife was full of sharpness. Finally, Li Chengen sheathed the knife. When the sword was taken out again, the blade was shining with a bright yellow luster. Yellow blade. Li Chengen actually skipped the white blade stage and directly concentrated the power of the yellow blade. This concludes all the insights about all the basic techniques of Tachi Ji. Li Chengen looked at the wooden knife in his hand, and his eyes were in a trance. My basic skills were amazing. Not only the basic sword skills such as thrusting and cassock cutting, but also air blade cutting and breaking blade attack, all of them have entered the realm of seeing gods. Hence the miracle that the sword turned out to be a yellow blade. Due to Li Chengen's early accumulation, he originally only needed less than 10 attacks to accumulate a full level of sword power, but now due to his understanding, it has been extended to 20 attacks. Just like an ordinary swordsman. But what he got in exchange was a sword that was sharper and purer than before. Because every time Li Chengen slashed, he was simultaneously accumulating power and cutting with the air blade to purify the power of the sword. This almost impossible thing did happen. Because of this, there is a miracle that the sword is now a yellow blade. This is not the end yet. According to his understanding, the red blade can still be unsheathed in the future. Even, Li Chengen remembered an idea that Lao Mu once said, or something that every Taiku user has thought about. Forget it, these are too far away from me. I'd better accumulate the basics honestly and see more advanced hunting skills in the future before I think about this kind of thing again. When Li Chengen recovered, he heard applause and a strange woman's voice. Yes, yes, I was a little skeptical before, but now I have an idea. Fortunately, I was the one who came first. Hearing the huge difference in tone and style, a question mark appeared on Li Chengen's forehead. Who are you? Then his eyes skipped over this woman with a hot figure and saw two familiar figures behind her. Dad, Mom, Li Mingxuan and Mu Qingqing quickly caught up. Li Mingxuan introduced Li Chengen. This is my senior sister, Kong Siwei, and the hunter teacher I found for you. Lao Li's words were concise and to the point. Li Chengen understood immediately, so he immediately said, Hello, teacher. Kong Siwei heard this and said, Just call me Sister Kong. Li Mingxuan Senior sister, the seniority is in chaos. Mu Qingqing was already looking up at the sky. She knew this best friend's character very well, and she would never change what she had said. Of course, the exception is about money. After all, Kong Siwei is also a working hunter and has all the poor qualities one should have. Li Chengen immediately hit the snake with a stick and shouted to Sister Kong one after another with Kong Siwei. Li Mingxuan next to him was so angry that his face turned green. After exchanging feelings, Kong Siwei and Li Chengen chatted about his future path. Through the demonstration just now, Kong Siwei already understood Li Chengen's path from the force of the sword, so he gave him two general directions for the future. One is to continue improving on the current path, and the other is to put aside the practice of sword skills for the time being and train all the body skills. Li Chengen chose the latter because from Kong Siwei's tone, it was not difficult to see that she hoped she would choose the latter option. Kong Siwei showed a big smile, and the smile on her face made her already beautiful face even more bright and charming. Even Li Chang'an, whose concentration was tempered by Wen Miaohua, couldn't help but feel slightly absent-minded. Good apprentice, it's not in vain that my master thinks so highly of you. A swordsman should pursue the excitement of dancing on the tip of the sword. When Kong Siwei spoke, the surprise in Li Chengen's heart immediately disappeared. 
For some people, it is better to watch from a distance rather than play with it. Once you get close, the filter is easily broken. Kong Siwei is a real example. When your basic body skills reach the stage of clear intention, I will teach you the most exciting techniques of Taitoji. You will definitely like it. Li Chengen already knows what technique Kong Siwei talks about. He often hears it from the high star swordsman in the guild. Everything you see is like the wind, and death follows you. The sword wielder just wants to cut, and cuts desperately, either on the way to see the cut or on the way to see the cut. The drunken words of the drunken swordsman still echoed in Li Chengen's ears. I hope Kong Siwei is not an alcoholic. Sister Kong, do you like drinking? Kong Siwei replied subconsciously without thinking, I like it. It tastes so good, why don't you like it? Li Chengen shut up and concluded that he was an alcoholic. After that, if Mu Qingqing hadn't pulled him, Kong Siwei would have taken Li Chengen to the hunting ground in the city to practice his body skills. Obviously, this person is also a practical person and believes that hunters should use blood to forge their skills. Anyway, today's training goal has been exceeded, and Li Chengen also agreed to go home with his parents and sister Kong. After arriving at home, Yao Yao immediately ran to the yard and summoned the wooden puppet. This week she has finished analyzing Qing Tianmu and Qing Yu Linglu. However, Qing Tian wood is a high-level resource and cannot be cultivated with its current strength. Therefore, the wooden puppet summoned this time is used to cultivate Qing Yu spiritual dew. The demand for this low-level moon resource is quite large, and it has the effect of clearing away distracting thoughts and calming the mind. Especially before level 3 beast masters prepare to break through to level 4, they will purchase resources such as Qingyu Spiritual Dew in large quantities. The current market price is approximately equals 11,000 Dongguang coins for 1 milliliter. For example, the amount used for a beast master's breakthrough requires 10 milliliters at a time. The dosage of pet beast breakthrough is larger, calculated based on 100 ml. Li Chengen's bottle cost him over 1 million yuan draining half of the small treasury he had accumulated from doing tasks. Yao Yao summoned a cyan wooden puppet, and under its operation, the cyan wooden puppet transformed into a moon-holding bottle. There is also a funnel above the mouth of the bottle, which seems to be used to collect moonlight. Yao Yao explained to Li Chang'an, Guji, this is the cultivation method of liquid resources. If it is a plant or fungus, it will become a hotbed. Li Chengen's eyes were also open to the fact that this wooden puppet could be used in this way. How is the output now? Yao Yao. Guji. The current wooden puppet can produce 5 milliliters of Qingyu spiritual dew in 3 days, and the energy needs to be replenished every 7 days. 50,000 in 3 days, this is still contact level proficiency. Li Chengen can already imagine how much money wooden puppets will attract in the future. Aoki Puppet. A strong female voice came from behind him. It was Kong Siwei who was visiting Li's house. Kong Siwei rubbed her eyes in disbelief, as if to confirm whether she had seen it correctly. Li Chengen turned to Kong Siwei and said, Sister Kong, are the wooden puppet skills also rare at Dongling University? Kong Siwei is a professor of the hunter department at Dongling University, one of the four major beast control universities in Dongguang Kingdom. Dongguang State has four top universities and four military academies, and Dongguang University is one of them. At Kong Siwei's age, being a professor at Tangguan University is enough to be considered young and promising. Of course, this is based on the lifespan of a king-level beastmaster. Kong Siwei is only about 50 years old. Compared with the 500-year lifespan of a king-level beast, this is only one-tenth, or even less than that. According to Li Mingxuan, Kong Siwei's strength is stronger than the king level. Li Chengen estimated that Kong Siwei was a powerful person at the level of a heavenly king, and his lifespan may have been extended to a thousand years. Compared with her lifespan, Kong Siwei at this time can indeed be called young, no, young and promising. Kong Siwei smacked his lips and said with envy, this is not a rare problem, it's about character. So far, the high-level skill wooden puppet has not found a stable way to awaken. We can only try it again and again by using rare materials such as blue sky wood. I'm trying to start with 10 million at a time. Some people have invested tens of billions in this skill, but they haven't succeeded yet. By the way, I remember that Ching Ching also tried it back then. She probably spent several hundred million, but it also failed.
In the days that followed, she was so poor that she almost had to eat dirt, but in the end it was her junior brother who helped her. This is the beginning of sparks between the two of them. Ha ha ha. Li Chengen. Oh do. What should I do if I accidentally heard about my mother's dark history? I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.